Let's see where... I guess we'll go ahead and just see where this door takes us for now. Um, chances are I will be returning to town one way or another before we reach another boss anyway. Uh, let me get the timer going again. And... Let's see what we've got here. Okay, we've got a platform over there. We've got this over here. <clears throat> that didn't work so well. Okay. But there's a platform there, though. I'm gonna laugh- oh, okay. I was gonna say I'm gonna laugh if it comes back around the same direction. Okay, I don't think I'm interested in that. So those things actually, like, orbit their platforms. That's interesting. Oh, right, I have fire now. That one actually didn't cause a problem. Uh, okay, so... Each of these things is actually... I'm assuming a Spanish... Espada is definitely... a Spanish word. Saita I didn't recognize. Ah, uh, but now we have fire. Interestingly, our maximums didn't go up this time for the other ones. Like, I'm pretty sure when we got Saita... Espada went up, because it used to be 16 or something? Uh, but this time it looks like they stayed the same. Oh yeah, so... Right. I I think I mentioned this in the Discord, in the Board Boosters Discord, but I haven't mentioned it in the stream yet. Uh, Zerik mentioned a resting mechanic, and like, I didn't know how to interpret that, but yeah, it actually just happened. If you stand still, your health will recover. So I could actually be relying on that, and then I completely forgot about it again. I only noticed it when I looked back at my VOD. Alright, let's try using fire. That didn't really... Did it, like, stop them from multiplying? I don't know. I could have just waited for him to sail past. <laughs> well, this has gotten me all of nowhere. He's over there now. That's the boss door over there. You can barely hear the buzzing. There was nothing in there. Ow. Well, that was really bad timing. Oh, shit. Okay, that actually has something. I'll take that. What the heck just happened to me there? Oh yeah, you actually saw it thrown up too. That's interesting. I don't need that right now. Actually, did that did that red potion give me? Magic back too, because like I should not have this much magic. So I'm noticing that the turrets seem like they still take multiple slashes, unless I'm just like bad timing or something, and that's what it is. Uh, cool. I was slashing the wrong way. Ow. That's not what I wanted to do. Am I back? I'm back down here now, I recognize this. In which case... I might as well go back to the previous town again. The other thing I wanted to try, I wanted to see if I could slide under there while I'm crouched, but no, you can't. But yeah, might as well go back here since I wanted to go back here anyway. we can get more money for our almas here. Literally twice as good exchange rate here. Uh, we can presumably sleep for less money. I don't think I even went to the inn in the last place, and then I want to get saber oil while I'm here. Because I'm... 
Oh, right. I need to, I need more money for that. Right. I forgot. Saber oil is expensive. <laughs> Guess what? I'm here to take even more money away from you. Oh, I'm gonna have, like, no gold left. <clears throat> but I have to remember I did actually get the sword that I wanted, so... Wait, what? I didn't... I didn't mean to do that again. So actually, I want to check here. The training sword did cost more here. The training sword was the second sword, wasn't it? No. Wasn't the tra the training sword should have been the one you started out with? And yeah, see, the wise man's sword is 1,500 here. It was 3,000 in the other place, so he gave me 1,500 for it, which is ridiculous. Uh. Wait. Right, 180 is the base. I, f I was thinking 160 was actually what it should have been. But no, there's no way I didn't get hit. Alright, now let's get our saber oil. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't get mad at me because I just accidentally left. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess I'll do this first. I doubt I'm gonna have a level up in the works here, but we'll see. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't actually heal. I am not smart. There's so many things you have to do on every visit to town that I just, like, forget about it. Alright, do I remember how I got to the other town now? I'm pretty sure it wasn't this- oh wait, no, I do remember going this way, actually. Okay, that works. I never did figure out how to get to that chest. Okay, here it is. No, don't go that way. Good grief. Freaking ice, dude. That was close. That would have been extremely sad. I guess we'll find out what the end costs here. It's gonna be more than 20... It's gonna be more than 44, I imagine. Which is what this is gonna give me. I accidentally hit the button again. Why did you just talk to me? I've talked to you before already, right? I didn't think I hit any button that should have done that. Seventy, okay. Honestly, it's not even worth coming to the inns because all it's doing is saving time, but... It's like, I could just stand here and recover, too. But that would be boring.
All right, so let's try going this way again. Like, clearly this whole place is connected. It's like the two entrances in the previous town. Alright, so last time I'm pretty sure I went to the left. What? That's rude. Wow, I got that before it split into anything, though. Um... Problem is, now I'm probably, like... I'm probably just totally in the old area again. Actually, what's over here? I think they split after a set amount of time or something. That was not good. Uh, that was fine, though. Oh, jeez. There's the shoes. Okay, well, we got some useful information out of this catastrophe. Even with this supposedly better sword, though, like... Ow. Things still take a lot of hits in this area, even with the better sword, supposedly. Like, it feels like the sword didn't make any difference. Man. Dude. This thing's the worst. Is it gonna come back around? Um... Well, okay then. Oh, jeez! Oh, the platform is interfering with it. Also, I wasn't paying attention to the turtle, like, at all. I was too busy being fascinated by what these things were doing. Okay, you can destroy them, that's good to know. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, now we're back down here again. So... I spotted the shoes... I have no idea, like, I'm not gonna remember where the hell they were at all. And it says something about don't go the steep way with lots of spikes or something like that. At this point, I'm prob it's probably my best interest to reload. Oh, right, because I wanted to take this platform across, but it, like, totally sinks under there. Yeah, that's really tricky. So where does this go? Yeah, there's nothing. I like how the spikes fell below my position, so it doesn't care if you're above or below the spikes, they still fall. This might be the, the steep part with the spikes. Yeah, okay. Which, like, you don't really have to tell me not to go there, it's telling me pretty good just by looking at it that I shouldn't go there. Timing this, though, this is gonna be awful. Okay, well, well. Guess I'll die then. Oh yeah, they absolutely fucking want you to die here. So that's great. That is that is the first absolute death pit that we've seen in the entire game. All of a sudden they're just expecting you to have godlike platforming skills.
And any any time that I'm re-entering and exiting the Sage after I reload is to hopefully make the Kyoku Feather actually work the way it's supposed to. Alright, so that, that's the baby one. That Like, that's the introduction. It's like, you need to be able to do that, and now you need to be able to do it better, and if you don't, you die. That's rude. I can't even jump it. Like, I have to- I have to walk. This- this section of the game is all about difficulty spikes, seemingly. I mean, the previous section, too, in terms of the damage that enemies did. Especially to my shield. Did that. Actually, now that I think about it, didn't someone say that through the green door you need the shoes? Because we're, we're through the green door. We, we did it. Oh dear, that looks bad. Although, honestly, I think the green shoes... I mean, not the green shoes. I think the shoes would do me worse here because oh wait i was gonna say can't i can't i slide you you slide for a very finite period of time yeah that only kind of worked where am i now oh my god look at all these platforms up there you gotta be kidding me wasn't there something else over here too Maybe not. Okay, that one should be safe to, like, get on when it stops. Oh my god, dude, don't fall off. Oh jeez, what are we doing there, though? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, jeez. Okay, nice of that to fall when I'm not up there. Ow. Oh, no, I was mid-jump. I was mid-jump and so it didn't work. Well, we're probably gonna die now. Which, like, fine, I might as well, like, do this over anyway. Well, or we can do that. I think I didn't jump high enough. I forgot to hold the jump button. Exhaust yourself in battle? No, exhaust yourself in platforming. I am curious if there's other places for me to go, though, given that... I seem to remember an NPC saying I shouldn't even be going through the green door until I have the shoes. And we saw the shoes. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that, but well, he's dead, whatever. I have been here before, just not usually coming from the direction that I did. Um, alright, well, that's fine. Now I'm back here, though. That's not fine. I just went backwards. Did I ever try going onto this one? I'm assuming that going over that slope would not be desirable. I did try going over here before.
There's a chest over there, too, that I haven't found, I haven't gotten to. Alright, pretty sure I don't want to be down there for any reason. Whoa, okay. Yeah, you basically have to outpace it. Well, going down here is probably not something I want to do. Oh, that, that's where that platform was, actually. So I'm effectively going backwards. I don't trust that gap. This is the other side of the shoes also. Okay, so how do we get to that platform? Also, good lord, there's a lot of dudes there. Can I go through walls with this? Oh my god, I can, but it doesn't pierce enemies. So how do we get over there? Also, didn't I determine that this place wrapped vertically or something, actually? Or was that... that might have been the previous... I, I, I already don't remember which place I had discovered that, because this place is feeling a lot bigger now. But no, I guess it was, it was the area prior to this one. Before I went into the door that led here, this place is much bigger than that. like to go up. None of this is going up. And at this point, I'm going backwards. Probably didn't because I thought this wouldn't be somewhere I'd want to go. What if it is, though? Oh my god, those things are rude. No, I've been here before. I'm pretty sure this set me backwards. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Now I'm definitely backwards. Alright, which place am I in right now? Is this actually... This is the beginning... This is just the beginning of... No, this is the beginning of that. So yeah, I am I am very backwards at this point. Might as well reload. So yeah, we're we're finding all sorts of places that lead back. And it's clear we're supposed to get the shoes, but I'm not convinced we actually need the shoes. say, shouldn't those be falling? Yeah, now they did, and I'm almost dead. Thanks. They don't even put health over there, so we're just gonna die, because why not?
Oh, I forgot you have to duck there. I'm, I'm smart. Wow, I did that like a frame before I would have died. See, I mean, at this point, I feel like I should just bloody go for it. To hell with the shoes. Or maybe we'll end up getting the shoes by going through this crap anyway. I don't know. Like, maybe the shoes are the reward, but again, like, that... One of the NPCs made it sound like... I freaking hate this platform. One of the NPCs definitely made it sound like you should have the shoes before you go through that door. All they had to do to make that platform tolerable was not make the... not make the overhang over it. That's not what I wanted it to do. I suppose this is where changing the game's speed might come in very handy. Is for this whole area. I haven't I haven't been messing with the game's speed, I've been running it on the default the entire time, which I'm led to believe is five. that right now? Did that actually change? Yeah, I, guess, I guess it's more gradual than I think. Yeah, that's more noticeable. Oh man, but right, it's gonna make you slower too, so... Might be a bad thing. over here? Mm. Not really. So how the hell are you supposed to land on that platform? You have to, like, jump up from the top or, like, slide down at the exact right time? This is getting real unreasonable. So I managed to go that far, but then after that it pretty much falls off. Nope, that was not the right to- oh boy. back. Even speed didn't help. Oh, come on, dude. I was like a frame early. Things like this that do make me wish you could save anywhere. Wow, I actually downstabbed something. Kinda of crazy how those turtles can just pierce you entirely. Ugh, almost forgot. Why did you not stop, dude? Every other time I've done that, he's stopped up there. Th wow, th like this area is just was just programmed by jerks, apparently. early, apparently. Cool, yeah, just keep making me slide right back into the spikes. I was holding the other direction for crying out loud, but I think when you when you land, there's a split second that you don't move. Okay, that time I managed to stop, thanks.
If the speedrun doesn't have a way to skip this section entirely, I'm not speedrunning this game. Because this is bullshit. <laughs> Absolute bullshit. And the problem is the speedrun's probably gonna make the game more insufferable, not less. Oh, yep, I should have known better. That's the one that you can't do that way. Because it slides right under the overhead. And I'm, I'm assuming that the shoes just give you traction on ice. Like, I'm assuming they don't do more than that. Which means they're not gonna really help you with these platforms. Because the ice isn't the problem, the platforms are the problem. Okay, I don't know how that managed to do things in that order, but I'll take it. What part of- what part of me holding up didn't the game understand? That's the first time I've had it not climb that thing. But I've always been a little bit sus about it. Because typically you can't climb when you're jumping, but like, I seem to always make a- like, a climbing jump sort of thing for that one. I guess if you're, like, still in the middle of your sword motion, you can't do magic yet. Too late. I still can't believe the... the gameplay decision to start you at the beginning of the entire game when you die. Like, they really expected people to actually, like, make the full trek back up? I don't think so. Dude, get in the door. What the fuck? Also, why am I moving every time I jump? The game's controls are just getting worse now, without me doing anything. It's, it's as if the fireball, like, sailed through the clone and got the first one. Interestingly specific design choice, if true. I'm surprised that worked, actually, because I thought the last time I tried to jump there, I just sank. I wonder if that's actually a strat, is, like, downstab everything. Press left, dude. I think, like, if it's not... Based on what people were saying about playing on lower speeds, too, I think, like, basically, if you don't happen to be holding a button when the tick actually happens, 
nothing happens. There's, like, no input buffering. Okay, so yeah, if I just do, like, a diagonal input there, then I climb. I really wish I could save state right now. Like, that's how bad this is. I had it, except I didn't, apparently. And I jumped too soon. What? It knocked me off, dude! such garbage. They went from being an action RPG to being 1990 Celeste, except they didn't know how to make Celeste in 1990. Oh, well that sucks. And it's just, it's such a blatant mode switch on the game. And it's not good. They just decided they're Kaizo now. Actually, they, they decided they're Kaizo in the previous area that had the, the not really a platform. like constantly sliding into it or something. There goes half of my health almost. Okay. Uh, not okay. So the bad thing too is like the, there's the one spike on the top platform that always just, like, harmlessly falls overhead. But then there's the one to the left. The one to the left seems to always respawn. Whereas the one to the right doesn't. I'm very mystified by that. I can just climb there. I am frickin' smart. Okay. Oh, that was bad to- oh, well. Unfortunate. I guess my timing was... Was I slightly early that time, or slightly late? I already forgot. That doesn't push you off all the way. Interesting. And yet you sail straight over it. <laughs> Excuse me? How did that not kill you? Attempted to downstab, but didn't really work. Why do I get st Yeah, he keeps sliding left. As I land, which puts him in the spikes again. And I can't do anything about it. I wonder if the shoes protect you from spikes. That would be a big deal. I did it again, dude. I'm just- I'm, like, I'm doing the wrong inputs. I gotta remember I can climb right off of the platform, I just have to hold up once I'm on the platform, I presume. I 
I legitimately don't know how you're supposed to not take damage to spikes in places like that, though. The, I, the falling icicles. Oh no, you can't hold up. You can't hold up because that's also the jump on. Right, I knew that. So you have to press up at precisely the right time. What are you doing? I have to wonder how many people who owned this game in, in the 90s stopped playing in this precise room. actually give you a health up. Amazing. It's not a full health up, but it's something. Guess what? We're not done. So, we could go over there, but I'm assuming that's not where we want to go right now? There are so many platforms. There's a key. Oh, hi. First. Uh, why are you- what are you doing, dude? Stop sliding. Okay, that was weird. I literally just pressed up. I did not press any of the directions, and somehow I drifted left and came up the, the rope here. Okay, well, there's a full recover. This one is a full overhang. Okay, we made it. Now what? I want to go down there. Although, actually, I kind of wonder. We can't cross that gap, of course. I doubt I want to go over there? That seems like definitely a bad idea. There's literally nowhere else to go other than either over the spikes or down this little hole down here. So yeah, I think I just skipped the shoes. I'm pretty sure you are supposed to get the shoes before you do that whole platforming mess. I'm not sure how it helps whatsoever with the platforming mess. Alright, so here's the problem. If I die here, we have to do the platforming mess again. And I am not looking forward to that at all. And I should probably look for the shoes, if it comes to that. I have no idea what I'm going into here. It's a big ice cube, what the f- Oh, that hurts it a little bit more, though, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, that didn't actually use that. Oh, well, I'm dead. The fire does a lot of damage. So basically just fire everything at it. Did it?
For a split second, I thought I saw, like, a sword in its, in its side or something. Alright, well, we have to do the bullshit again. Like, should I not be dismissing going backwards? Is it not actually backwards? Can I still find the... the boots? curious about that platform that's up there, too. That might actually be a platform I've taken, though. It looks like a platform that I've taken. Could you cut that out, dude? Where are you, dude? I'll wait. backwards again. And yet it's weird, because I thought I only went up. So, like, I'm very... This map is very confusing in how it loops. I hate to think I might have to resort to actually using a map if we want to actually get those shoes. But of course, the other option is just don't bother getting the shoes. Apparently. I forget, what was down here? So I'm pretty sure I don't want to go down here, but I'm going to try anyway, just to see where the heck it puts me. Yeah, that puts me very far backwards as well. The amount of ways this thing can loop you is utterly ridiculous. I guess we have to try to do the awful room again. surprised I stopped on that. It came back! Alright, now my position is slightly different, so I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. Oh, uh, oh no! Damn it. Really, the, the fact that they make you do this potentially more than once is really the worst part. And again, this is like, they tried to make Celeste before anyone knew how to make Celeste. Because, like, the thing about Celeste is, like, you feel like you can do... You feel like everything is surmountable, and you feel like if you have to do it again, you can do it again. This, I don't want to fucking do again. Like, there is such a thing as good difficulty and bad difficulty in a video game. 
And of course, I imagine people's thresholds for that are different, because I consider Souls likes to be bad difficulty, but a lot of people like those. But then again, a, a lot of people like eating chilies that are, or, you know, peppers that are hot enough to make them sweat bullets, too. I don't find that to be particularly enjoyable, either. I am kind of curious what would happen if I went over there. I've probably been over there before. But you know what? Let's, let's find out. Fuck okay. it. Have I, in fact, been here? I reckon yes. Which, which doorway is this? This is literally the one, it just, it circled around to the beginning of this area. And then I managed to mess that up, which I never mess up. Good job. I shouldn't have done that, because now we have to do the awful part again. Yeah, it's, it's literally this door. I'm surprised I got that. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking there. I was very wrong. Sure, why not? Just get yeeted through, like, five slimes. I guess I should actually kill them. Like, I've been not killing them because it takes time, but... If I'm gonna end up back there because I screw up... Oh my god, dude, I'm early every time now. I get screwed over by that. This game needs save anywhere. Before they introduced this level of garbage, it was fine, but because of this room, this game needs save anywhere. I like how I just randomly lost half of my fucking health there that time. It's like a dice roll whether that happens or not. Anything the game can do to waste the player's time at this point. That is precisely the territory we are in now. And uh, if you've watched me for any length of time, you know how I feel about games that just blatantly wasted player's time. They're not good. It's also, again, why I don't like Souls Likes either. I, I 
wish I could, like, trigger these things with any kind of consistency whatsoever. Yeah, that hit me anyway. I guess it's been the last hour and a half in this area. Last time we had, so, so last, in February when Board Boosters did Quarter 7, I'm pretty sure we had one person who basically did a blind speedrun and it took them an hour or so. That's not going to work with this game. <laughs> if they try to do that with this game, it's not going to work. Don't ask me what the timing was there, I have no freaking clue. I forgot there's a thing here. Alright, so no more farting around. We're going over this way. Oh, right. I forgot about that thing. Should I be able to hit that from here? Yeah, there we go. It's kind of funny that this key you get, like, literally on route to the place. I did that too soon. At least that's recoverable. I did that too late. Oh, why is that back now? You jerk. Alright, I guess I'll go and get this thing, then. Whoa, jeez. I should have jumped there. I lucked out. from here. We had to slide through here, didn't we? There we go. Alright. Let's try to melt the ice cube again. That's not doing the kind of damage you were doing before. What's the deal with you? Um, I'm out. Do I have... I do have this, so let's use both of these. I'm still dead first. Wow, dude. It does look like it's... It might just be a reflection thing, but it looks like it has a sword in the side of it. I can't believe I still died to that thing. Wow. Alright, well... I need another break, so... We'll try this again, I guess, when I get back. At least I've gotten there a couple of times. There's really, like the one specific jump that is the worst part of that area. I still don't know how the shoes are supposed to help. Cause like... Can I find the NPC that said something about that before? Whoops. No, it's not that one. You could not- yeah, without the Rosaria shoes, you could not go beyond the green door, but... I totally can. I'm very curious what they're supposed to do, because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have gotten them, and am just skipping them over and over again. 
Anyway, I guess I'll go in here because the music's more interesting, and I'll I'll pause it here again. Um, and we'll see if we can beat this boss on the third try when we get back. All right, let's try this again. Also, I looked I looked up the Spada and Saita, and they are literally sword and arrow. So all of these spell, all the magics are literally just the Spanish words for the the thing the magic does. All right, timer back on. Let's do the worst platforming again. I won't say the worst platforming in the game. It's only the worst I know so far. Oh, that was late. Yep. And the thing is, like, I feel like turning down the speed won't even help. Because the hard parts are the, are the ones that are more about, like, synchronizing exactly when you need to press the button. Like that one, for instance. It's like you need to you need to know you know you need to know how many like units ahead you need to be running. <laughs> oh, get in the door, dude! Don't do this to me again. See, that time I got by all of them. The other one didn't even drop until now. It's completely inconsistent whether you take damage from those spike the these uh, icicles or not. I keep going through so many other words. Spikes, st stalactites. No, it's just icicles, dude. Oh, I was almost late there. Well, that sucks. You have to kangaroo your ass back. Because <laughs> for some reason it keeps sucking you into the spikes. Like, your momentum is still carrying you the other way. Well, that sucked. In the other direction. I, like, ideally I don't even land on that platform. That's part of what actually makes it easier, is just go on the rope directly, but the problem is, um, I'm sailing over that middle platform, which is probably the thing that they intend you to have the ice boots for, honestly. But it is possible without them. I would have to imagine the speedrun probably goes without them. And it's kind of funny, because it definitely makes me think of East the Oath and Felgana, because in the speedrun of that, we went without the ice shoes as well, I'm pretty sure. Even before they started skipping huge swaths of the game. That wasn't quite what I wanted. Yeah, see, that time I got screwed. I'm holding right the whole way, each time. Like, I'm not doing anything different, so I'm not sure... I really don't want to be <clears throat> using fire before I get to the boss, but sometimes those guys kind of demand it. Early that time, I guess. You were curious how long the PC88 version took him? I would assume more than one stream. Although he's, he tends to be surprisingly good about completing things in one stream. But if it's comparable to this, I feel like it might be longer than that. Also depends on how much crap like this happened to him. Early. Now I'm always going early because I'm like bracing for the, you know, the thing that happened last time. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I mean, you did say the PC-88 version seemed, uh, like it was probably more difficult. What happened there? <clears throat> what happened there? I just... I slid off. Was I even on ice there? 
I love how, like, sometimes I take a break and then when I get back, my allergies are like, Hi, hello, we're here. Because now I feel like I'm going to sneeze any second. And I'll probably feel that way for the next half hour. I really don't need to spend time on this guy, come on. How long ago did he play it? <clears throat> See, that time they were cooperative. So I'm definitely going to be curious to see what that version looks like compared to this, after I play this. Assuming that I actually finish it, because now I'm not so sure. Also, I need to point out that the way that that bass line ends there makes me think of Beat It by Michael Jackson. Okay, we actually stopped up here. Amazing. Now, can we do this one? Nope, that was slightly late, I think. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, that was incredibly wrong. What the hell was I doing? Four years ago. What? That's the thing that happened last- It has to do with the freaking jumps, dude. It's like when the jumps carry you to the left, or when you land and you go to the left. Like, that's what it is. It's like, I have no control over that. The game just decides... no. So yeah, I'm fairly certain I'm supposed to have the shoes. I just don't know how the hell to get to them. At all. And every time I've gone to try to look, I just end up going, like, to places I've been before. So that's, that's driving me bananas, and like, at this point I'm just like, screw it, I know I can get to the boss without the boots, I'm not getting the boots. Of course, I don't know if the game is going to require me to have the boots later, too. Oh my god, dude. You seriously can't go that way. You can't recover that. Well, we might get a whole lot of nowhere in this stream. In which case, I'm probably not going to be inclined to bother continuing the game because it doesn't really bode well when you've spent two hours doing absolutely nothing in the video game. I might just go ahead and look at the speedrun to see if they have a way to skip this entire cursed section. Because if they don't, I'm not playing this. There's no way in hell I'm putting myself through a speedrun of this. I don't know what the person's motivation for putting this on the wheel was. They clearly didn't know what was involved. But I mean, that was true of Corridor 7, and it's probably true of most of the Board Boosters games. I mean, they ended up playing Defenders of Dinatron City. Enough said. That is, that is even worse of a game than this is. I am surprised that stuff there. I forgot where the, uh, the red potion was. It might have been further down. Should be the right spot. There we go. I 
guess I'm just gonna get this. Because I know that's there. I like how that one just despawned completely. Alright, here we go again. Please, please make the third time be the charm. Oh, that, that was a waste. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, eventually I'm sure he'll jump. Apparently, once it backs you into that corner... Where's the key? Here. Are you not giving me a key? Every boss so far has given me a key, dude. Why are you bucking the trend? So, once he backs you into that corner, you can rely on fire to push him away every time he jumps at you. So that, I mean, the sword might have worked for that too, but like that was going to guarantee that the fire was going to get some damage on him. So now the question is, where can we go that is safe once we get out of here? It's the first time they haven't dropped a key, though. Well, that's different. I can't hurt you. What the fuck? Do not make me fight that boss and go through that section again. I think we're in corridor 7 now. Like, what the, what the heck happened here? Uh, we got zombies. There's stairs up there. Holy crap, dude. Did somebody get the license number on that eyeball? Well, we made it. I don't I don't think I like the fact that we made it, but we made it. <laughs> Brave sir, I come you I hope you've come to help this pitiful town. It was the site of a quiet graveyard before it was decimated by Jashin. Now it's a very loud graveyard. Let's see what you can do. Oh, I don't have money, though. You're gonna be mad at me. There's a new sword. That is almost the same price as... that sword. The spirit sword is the one I have right now. So that's interesting. He's also got the honor shield that is slightly less expensive here. The stone shield is also less expensive here. Uh, let's see what he says about these. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that, that's... It kicks you out of the menu and everything when you ask him to explain the night sword. Why does, why does that kick you out of the entire menu? Okay. Yeah, everything, everything else acts normal. Alright, we need, we need money first, though. Let's see how bad the exchange rate is here. One third of this region is covered with deadly gelroid. If you're going to continue through the labyrinths, ordinary shoes will not protect you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Does this mean we need to find those shoes anyway? Or is this another set of shoes on top of that anyway? Oh, that's not the button I wanted. There's a certain place in the caverns where you can pass through a wall, but only in one direction. My grandfather told me the place is near a green stone slab. Oh, well, we've seen blue stone slabs before. Green is a new one. There may be other places, but I couldn't say where. Oh, whoops. If you're going back to the caverns, beware the gelroid. It's a blue gelatinous substance which will suck the life out of you. This music is something. May I confide in you? I was once a spy for Jasheen. I can tell you that the Pirica shoes were put- Okay, so it's a different set of shoes. <laughs> I can't believe the shoes that I skipped are already obsolete anyway. Were put into a box and thrown away somewhere in the rotten land. You may never find them. What is this place? Oh, is this the sage? This is the sage. Magic spell of flame. Lanzar. That's a verb. What, is, what does that mean? That means to launch into the air. But they said it was a spell of flame. Hmm. Like, we already have the spell of flame, though. That was fuego. Alright, you better have a level up for me. Nope. Wow. You can't defeat the demons at the edge of the Badlands without the Knight's Sword. Yeah, I had a feeling. Cool, we are we are gold locked now. Until you get that sword, do not open the door of the demons. You say that, but like there were already things I couldn't kill on the way here, dude. Uh I'm gonna save I used the wrong button. I was gonna save to the other slot. I guess I'm not gonna save to the other slot. Whoops. Alright. Alright, well let's see what I can afford right now. You better have a good exchange rate. It's getting worse. It's getting to the point where it's like, I think I read somewhere that you lose like half of your almas when you die, but you lose all of your gold. It's getting, we're literally at the point where it is more cost effective to die and go back to the beginning of the game where things are worth more almas and then spend five hours getting back. Uh, will that be alright? No, it's terrible, but I don't have a choice. Uh, alright, and how much money do I have? Not nearly enough. Oh, boy. Please tell me you have an inn. Have you seen the strange bluish-white people in the caverns? They were infected by the Jilroid, and now they wander the land like the living dead. To kill them, aim for the head. Oh, we do have aim for the head now. We didn't have it on the cockatrice or whatever, but... Alright, what do you have? Well, we have say This is all they have. They don't have any MP restoring items. But they do have saber oil, which is important. We, we are going to want that. It costs more here, because of course it does. Wow, the game, the game is ready to basically softlock us at this point. Because we can't kill the enemies outside. Um, I think we could kill the eyeballs, but they are extremely fast. We get very little uh, gold in, in exchange for our almas. Is there no... Wait. No, we passed the weapon guy. Where, was there an inn here or not? Because if there's no inn here, I'm screwed. Oh no, it's right here. How much does this cost? Yeah, I had a feeling. Alright, it was 70 at the previous one, right? So that's not all that outlandish. 
Although it's also getting to the point where I might as well just like take a break and let the HP recover to save money. Hmm. Right now, I guess, God, everything is so stupidly expensive here. I'm not gonna get the saber oil until I know what I'm dealing with here, but, uh, this ain't looking good. At all. This is turning into a Silent Hill game where, like, well, like, like Silent Hill 4, where halfway through, your room never, like, no longer restores you, and, like, no longer restores your health, and things get to feel way more oppressive. That's what this feels like. Uh, but let's see what happens. Also, there's two exits from here, isn't there? Because we came in on the left. So, that way is a point of no return. Oh, well, that's the stuff. And that guy didn't... Oh, I didn't restore my shield. Whatever, we'll go looking around and playing in traffic. Oh, wait, is this literally the other end right here? That seems kind of silly. <clears throat> okay, so the right side is specifically for once you've found the... The Pyrrhica shoes or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it turns out I need my money again. Oh god, everything in this town is so spaced out. Uh, how much am I gonna need? Four, I think. <clears throat> I'm trying to save myself a return trip. Fifty four. Why did I think one oh four? Like, I got the 4 correct, I got the 10's digit completely wrong. Alright, well anyway. I need to go save again, regardless. That time I pushed the right button for what I actually wanted to do earlier. Because space selects whatever the arrow is pointing at, enter just submits what's in the text field to the left. Alright, so we gotta go out this way anyway. Or I guess either way, really. But, like, we're gonna be on this side of things. Yeah, so those things just generate the shit out of me. I can't attack them. And these guys, you gotta aim for the head, right? Yeah, they- okay, you can see that happening. That's the one-way wall right there. Before we go through there... Uh -huh. I don't like what's down there, so I guess I'll go through here. Is this also one way? No. Oh, but it's got a thing. Which I guess I'll use right now, because... good lord. So where does this put me? I don't want 
want to take that right now, because I literally just used one. Oh, well. Yeah, that kills you awfully fast, doesn't it? Spikes not threatening at all. That stuff? Oh, boy. And now, of course, we're all the way back here, so we're reloading. I'm not sure if we're gonna find the next bit of progression here or not tonight, but... Yeah, what if I go this way, actually? Now, is this where I came from? Yeah, it is. You're, you're saying it's weird that it's throwing you that far back? That's what I thought. <laughs> Seemed like a really bad gameplay design decision. Oh, holy crap, that's a hundred. Is this spikes? No, it's not. I wonder if magic works against these guys. I should absolutely not be doing any of that. It's different in the PC-88 version? See, it would make a lot more sense if it threw you back to the last point you saved at. The last sage. The other interesting thing, you know what I should test? Oh, I can actually hit restore game from there, that's kind of a little bit more convenient. I should, I should test something else, because the one time that I used the Kyoku Feather, it brought me also back to the very beginning of the game. But I assumed that was because I had already been thrown back there from dying. I want to go in... Let, let's just go in here and try using that feather and see if the same thing happens, or if it brings me here where it should. Because there might actually be some kind of bug going on. So let's just use this. Yeah, it's... that can't be right. It's always sending you back to the first place, both when you die and when you use a Kyoku Feather, which makes the Kyoku Feather worthless. I was thinking it was glitching out because I had died and, like, technically I had seen the Sage at the beginning and that's why it sent me back last time, but no, it's always doing that. It should not be doing that. That, that seems blatantly wrong. And for that matter, if it actually brought you back to the last stage you had seen, there could have, there could be places where the Kyoku Feather could actually save time. Well, or I guess Death Warping, same difference. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it makes me wonder if the version I have is just not correct. Or if it really is a, an issue. That dude just had the heebie-jeebies going on. I have not been through this door, have I? No, I have not. I assume... Yeah, I can climb back up to that. Okay. Oh, come on. Alright, fine. Let me jump over this guy. I would like to climb up there. Thank no, 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 no. Good lord. Yeah, I, I would have expected to start back in the last town. That would make a lot more sense. going over there anywhere. Okay, you go down there, I will go up here. Oh, I can't do anything else here. Oh, I 
can't hit him, so he's gonna hit me instead, and I can't get through the goddamn door. Let's just reload now. It is interesting that, like, different areas of the game have had, like, a little bit of parallax going on either, either on the top or the bottom. The first area actually had it on the bottom. Okay, so we went up here last time, right? That was where that door- yeah, okay. And there was nothing- oh, that's also one way! Let's go in here. And the locked door up there is not the boss from the sound of it. Or the lack of sound of it. Also, we've got... I just realized these vines or ropes or whatever are literally bones. So that's pretty metal. Do I want to go that way, actually? Let's try going this way and see what happens. God, those things are rude. Is this literally the same place I just was? This is literally just the same place I just was. And there's a key up there. So we just ended up coming around here backwards by doing that. Oh, right, that's just that. Dude, I'm just trying to go through the door. Come on. Let me through the door. Thank you. So that's where we went last time that seemed to have no redeeming qualities? I don't know if there were any other ways I could have gone there, but... You ever get damage boosted through a zombie? Uh... Uh... It took McCaw two and a half hours to find the ice boots. <laughs> Meanwhile, it took me that long to skip the ice boots. Are the ma do you think the maps are the same, or do you think they changed them? That was not smart of me. I probably shouldn't even be going this way. Alright, so what about- oh, well, we're down here now. Is this the same way I went earlier? Oh god damn it, dude. Can I hit you? No. Oh, that's right, I never actually went down this way before. Alright, let's try doing this. Good enough, I guess? Oh no, this is probably the same exact place I died before, if I had to guess, although I can't be completely sure about that. We want a completely different way to get there, though. But yeah, I guess if I were to, like, look at Mikau's playthrough and start from the beginning, I could judge whether the maps seem the same or not. <laughs> Frequency in the car complaining about the mask being mazes. What about complaining about, like, getting generated, though? Because, boy, that sure seems to be a thing. Do I even want to be over here? I don't think I even want to be over here. Wow, I can't believe I dodged that. I feel like the answer to 
my gold problem is just farm those guys and get them to drop the hundred. Gold and not being able to kill- huh. See, this is the place where I'm, where I'm only first getting to not being able to kill things. Does that guy seriously always drop that? Because that's actually kind of ridiculous. And then the question is, how long does it... I don't know if respawning is a time thing, or a distance thing, or what. Also, that thing's down there now. Uh-oh, one of them is down- alright, I guess I should leave. And the gold might be war- jeez, that would be real sad. Because at this point, it's pretty bad in this version. But yeah, if I have to seriously farm for gold just to get the sword so I can actually kill things, then, um... That sounds like it should be an off-stream thing. He didn't drop a hundred. I didn't really mean to take that. That was like the only thing in here, though, unless you drop down, right? Did I go this way last time? I don't remember. I went this way. Oh, geez. Well, that's kind of rude. Not as rude as the ice section, though. Whoops. Decidedly less rude than the ice section. Oh, well, that sucks. There's a hundred right there. waiting too long. Meanwhile, that guy's building an eye totem pole over there. And this guy's also back. Oh, I keep being slightly off with that timing. At least this is quick to retry. And this is the thing where, like, it doesn't matter if I slow down the game. You have to, like, you have to anticipate the timing correctly. There we go. That just brought me back around here. That just lets me out again. That is all that did. I'm pretty sure that's another potion that I don't need right now. Oh, shit. Well, that's bad. I guess I'll die then. Look at how many of them there are. That is a ridiculous amount of slimes. Uh, we found the how many slimes does it take to screw in a light bulb room. Yeah, well, I feel like this game wouldn't take 33 hours if it were reasonable. Because, like, the amount- of the, the length of the game does not match that time. So that is utter- that is sheer and utter fr frustration. <laughs> causing it to take that long. 
gonna try in here again. Alright, so we can't go that way. Alright, and that was just this part. Which I ended up getting to in, in two different ways. Hi, that was that was nice. Right, and there's the key in there, and the question is how do we get there? What? That was like a double explosion animation. I wonder if the blue things there mean anything. I wonder if I can, like... I wonder if I can downstab through the floor anywhere. I doubt it. That would be something they would have to call out. So there's gotta be another way to get around over there. I'm just gonna go ahead and load. <clears throat> but yeah, the, the gold wall here seems like it's going to be extremely problematic. Or do I not want to go in there? Good lord, look at that thing go. Did I try going this way before? I think I did, yeah. Because this is where this was. Which is just gold and then we die. Didn't quite have enough health to make that. But, like, clearly you're, you're not meant to make that. But then where the hell are we going to find these shoes? Where else haven't I gone? But yeah, like, definitely in pretty much all of the places I've been so far, the way that this game, like, the... the The way this game loops it, loops back on itself extremely fast is uh, is one of the more confusing parts of it. <clears throat> and I still can't believe I can't hurt these things. Although, let's try. Okay. Oh, this ability does pierce. Look at that. Okay, so magic... Maybe they're just... Maybe they're specifically only susceptible to magic. I don't know. Alright, so which place was this? What? I happened to be in front of the door while I was holding up. So it put me through the door again. That's this place again. I mean, I guess that's one way to farm. Oops. I probably shouldn't take that, but just for the sake of exploring, I might as well take it. Well, I freaking mistimed that, and now I live here. I like how they give you this consolation prize, but like, hello, I'm going to die. There's literally nothing I can do about this. So yeah, I guess that's the thing I haven't done, is I haven't nailed that platform. So okay, that's that's to the left, beyond the zombie and the one-way wall. We can, we can try to get that. Well, that's not necessarily good. That's even worse. Yeah, okay. Can't rush that. That's literally where that is. Although, if they go down to the bottom, then that's actually fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, that wasn't great. <laughs> yeah, I think you probably do have a high threshold for that. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Alright, let those guys go down there, and then go over here, and hopefully they'll be all the way down. Wait, where'd this other guy come from? That might be a problem. Guess what? That's a problem. How many of them are over there, dude? <laughs> yeah, this is getting pretty ridiculous. I mean, like, once we got to the ice area with the I can't believe it's not Celeste except not because it's poorly designed because it's the 90s. Once we got to that, I was, I was like, this game has taken a turn for the much worse. And, uh, it hasn't gotten better yet. Alright. There's only two over here, dude! Like, where did that other one come from before? I really wanted to actually get that. Alright, are we good? I think we're good. One of them must have multiplied before or something. Okay, we're across that. Oh, that knocked me down, you piece of shit. I might be- I might be sunk now. I wanted to see whether other attacks can also kill them. That doesn't seem to do anything. And also, now I'm dead. Oh, I can reload while I'm dying. Okay. I guess I never actually tried that. But yeah, I'm really, really wondering now why why the person who put this on the why the person who put this on the uh, board booster's wheel put it on the board booster's wheel. Did they actually just want to see people suffer, or are they actually going to run this thing? I wonder. I wonder if board boosters has any policy for people who like put a thing on the board and then don't actually run it. Uh, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh, actually, hang on a second. I'm just gonna wait those guys out. What actually happens if I go this way? Oh, that just return. That's just the return trip, isn't it? All right, let the other one get down here, then get them both. Okay, I can go up that way. That's not a problem. A thousand gold? Okay. I've never seen a payout like that before. Unfortunately, uh, I can't go anywhere over here. Is that actually all I came over here for, was gold? Is there anything else on the ground here? Well, that was unfortunate. Because, like, if, if there's a thousand gold over here, yeah, sure, that's something, I guess, but... It's not progression. I mean, I guess it kind of is progression, because you need, like... How many thousands was it that I needed for the sword? But we're looking for shoes, really. So there's gold over there, but there's nothing else down there. Where else can I go? There wasn't anything useful in here, right? Oh, I recognize that L-shaped blue thing. I was below that before. You know, I might have been to the right of it, too, because it looks like there's that floor that deteriorates. Honestly, they could have done with, like, making that more obvious, but it is a slightly different color. 
I just haven't been... I don't think I've been up there, unless I came through that door at some point. Yeah, this was this section, and I never found anything useful in here either. Okay, this is... yeah, this is that. There was another door over there, I might have come through that at some point. And there's a key there, that I have no idea how to get to. Oh, they can drop stuff. They don't seem to drop stuff very often. Yeah, so there's nothing useful over there. There's nothing useful through either of the doors that I have found to go through. You know what, let's try going to the right again, but, like, you're pretty clearly not supposed to go actually right out of that exit until you have the other shoes. I have no idea how long this goes on for. I can't believe it actually- Yeah, it's- it's- it's all goop. I can't believe I actually managed to climb that thing, though. But yeah, there's absolutely no reason to go that way. actually expect him to do that. So I've gone over there before. But what was... there was something further up to the left. Have I been up there? I don't think I've been up here. Uh, I don't really like the idea of this. Oh, well, that sucks. I'm only doing this so I can see what's actually up here. The DOS version never updates the last stage you visited. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that seems that seems wrong. Uh yeah, this seems like decidedly a place that I am expected to have the the goop shoes for. Oh, good lord. Yeah. Oh, actually, I think this might reconnect to the same place. Yeah, so we are decidedly not supposed to be here right now. That's what it's... Uh, yeah, it never updates... Okay, never updates the last sage, which is exactly what the Kyoku Feather and, um, presumably Death are supposed to bring you to, is the last sage. I was, I was trying to climb that, and it was not happening. <clears throat> Climbing things is impossible. But yeah, that seems like a pretty big thing for them to miss in QA. Holy crap. Alright, what about up here? This is where purple was. It's also where this thing was. Where did this go? This probably went to that lower one. I have a feeling this is... Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was. Okay. I don't know if I went this way. I hear the boss door.
Almost exchange rates are worse in PC. Wow, okay. I mean, they're pretty bad for me now, but they weren't before. Please, please be health. That's not health. So presumably we're gonna come all the way back around to that boss door from the other direction once we have the shoes and go through a lot of crap. Oh my god, it's the key, dude. I actually managed to get the key. Woof. Somehow didn't die. Somehow hit the button soon enough. Oh, and now we're back. That was the other side of that. Okay. Which means now I have to go across this and not die. I would have been better off going the way I came originally, because I might die here. It would- wow, it would be twice as bad? Good grief. Holy shit, we didn't die. And that over there is health, but I don't need it now. Uh, how do I get back, though? I think I have to go this way to get back. Fortunately, we, we did the, the death-defying part there. These guys really need to get their belly buttons checked out. I don't know why they're launching things like that. That other guy's got an eyeball on his head. Oh, I timed that wrong. Like I said, climbing is impossible. It's funny that, like, I'm still rocking that shield that the guy said don't buy. And, like, in the previous area, I think was the worst for it. Actually, even the forest area before that was where it really pushed me to buy it. Shield is the least of my worries right now. Oh, come on, dude. Wow, that was bad. But, I mean, if we get 100 from these guys when I screw up, then I'm okay with that. Wow, now I'm just jumping the gun on that. I was late. This is, this is where turning the speed down would actually probably help. Specifically for climbing that one rope. But again, not gonna say no to a hundred almas when I screw it up. Here we go. And then we have to ride this around to the other side. It is utterly ridiculous how much platforming you have to do <laughs> just to get out of here. Oh, and then what, actually? Because I still need to get back to, uh... Alright, screw you, then. Another hundred for my trouble, I'll take it. Uh... I have to go this way. How do I get out? How do I get back from here? Is really the question at this point. I'm gonna die, dude. I don't have any health things left. <sighs> I legitimately don't know how to get back from this point. And I can't use the feather because it's bugged. It's gonna send me to the first stage in the entire game. Like, this would be a prime time to use the Kyoku feather. 
if it actually did what it was supposed to do. You would also be getting half as many... If we get 50 instead of 100, geez, so it's like four times worse. Oh my god, we're there, dude. Holy crap. I didn't I, I didn't realize I was above. That and that's like an, another case of like the map wrapping around, I think, is like I didn't expect to be above the return point. If I had to do that again, I, I just wouldn't have gone for the, uh, the 1,000 gold, since I knew that was what was down there. But yeah, the, uh, the bug with, this, with not saving which sage you were last at is kind of a big problem. Actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna end the stream now anyway, so I will just save and then I will wait for my health to refill because that should be a thing that happens. Like, if we, if we just sit around here, it should actually start refilling. Um, let me save either way. Also, let's see if we have a level up. It doesn't seem, like, I'm wondering if it actually, like, doesn't refill in all places. Alright, do we get a level up, though? Not yet. Alright, well I do have other stuff that I need to do in town anyway. So we have what? We have four out of nine tiers. And the game has gotten this ridiculous. Also, I don't even know what that key is for yet. <laughs> Like, we got a key. I don't know where I need to use it. Uh, how much do I have in there? That's not going to be enough for the sword. Pretty sure. So, oh, I need to, um... You know what? Actually... No, we're not going to deposit. We're going to withdraw. Because we need... What, 2,600 total? In order to get the saber oil and the... Uh... Actually, which way is the magic shop again? Yeah, 2600 for both. Suddenly, I am extremely poor in this game's economy. But yeah, I'm actually wondering if I don't recover healthier, because... I feel like we would have started to see it recover with how long I was standing still before. Um, so I guess if not, I'll end up using the inn anyway. That would be something if they also got rid of the resting mechanic once you're a certain amount of the way into the game. You know, I mentioned the, the, the Silent Hill 4 mechanic and how that stops recovering your health when you're in your room halfway through the game. Uh, this might do the same thing with towns, because yeah, it sure looks like I am not recovering health at all. I think we have to use the end. I should have recovered something by then. Um, when you're in the field, it recovers too. Or are you saying is that why it's not recovering? I could have, I could have sworn it did it in both places. And also, I feel like being out in the field is not the greatest idea for my interests right now. But we could try it.
or think it might actually be the opposite? I, I could have sworn it was in both places before. If I'm safe here, then I can test it here. Yeah, now it's working. I'll have to, I'll, I'll have to go look at my uh, previous VOD and see whether it really didn't recover in town. That is hilariously backwards of what you expect. Like, most games, if they have a rest effect in the field, then it goes faster when you're in town and not in danger. Like, it's weird that they just wouldn't have it at all in town. Very strange. But yeah, I guess uh, now is a good time to call it either way. So I guess I'll keep the timer going since we're technically still gaining health and I'll go save afterwards, but uh, I won't bore you with waiting for uh, paint to dry here on my health meter. This game gets really unreasonable once you get into the ice area. Um, this area, at least, well... It's hard for me to say this area is better or worse in terms of platforming because there was that one egregiously long platforming segment. But at least it wasn't as... It felt like it wasn't as... Like, wasn't requiring as much precision. But... I don't know what to think about this game. But for the for the time being, we are unstuck, I guess. But we need to we definitely do need to find shoes this time. There there's no avoiding it this time. So I guess that's what we'll be doing next time. So I was I was thinking, since we saw that there is an extremely expensive sword that might be progression, um be, between that and the fact that like the the almost to gold exchange rate here is garbage and also the fact that I had that Kyoku feather that we then found out is actually useless because in the DOS version of the game it always takes you to the beginning of the game um rather than having that feather clogging up my inventory I decided to off stream use up that feather and then get back here which took me around 20 minutes, so I incremented the timer accordingly over here. Um, so, I have maybe around 2,000 more gold than I had before, at most. But, like I said, we might have an issue now with needing to grind out a bunch of gold to buy a sword. But before then, we need to find some shoes. Which is bad, because I already failed to find some shoes in, in the last section, and that probably made my life worse. But, uh, this time we pretty much have to find them because they prevent us from taking damage in a place that otherwise causes damage really fast. So, we'll see what we can do, but I'm gonna start the timer and we can head back in. So, the last thing that happened was I got a key. I haven't reached any locked doors yet, so we need to find a locked door to use that key on. Is, is the next order of business. Uh, but let me start the timer back up. And we'll start moving. And I did already, like, clear out my, my Amos and gold. And my shield is repaired and stuff, so we're, we're prepared for this. Oh, also, one thing that I ended up finding out since last time, I had noticed in one of my previous segments that this number, the number of charges for my first magic had gone up, and I thought it was tied to when I got the second magic, but no, apparently it's tied to when you level up or something. So, there are multiple things that happen, but, like, experience is invisible, you don't see it listed anywhere, you just go to the sage and they tell you whether you've leveled up or not. Um, but also, apparently leveling up does certain invisible things in addition to increasing your total health. Alright, so I need to figure out what the heck to do now. I'm gonna start by going back up this way. I'm just kinda gonna go top down. Oh, right, that leads here. Uh, actually, hang on. This should work, too. Uh, except... Actually, it does- it goes through them, too. I just, like, for brain farted and forgot what button does things. Does this go backwards? No, this goes here. Down here was where I got the key, eventually. I also hear the boss door here. That guy didn't know what to do with himself there. Okay, you go that way, I guess, then. Uh, except we're gonna end up going that way, probably. It'd be great if I could hit him from here, but I can't. Okay. 
So we need to figure out... I don't know if that's the only locked door in this area, but we do need to figure out how to get up there. But presumably that's like for after we go through all the muck that we can't go through right now, because I don't have the, the shoes yet. You guys are getting cross-eyed down here. Uh... A hundred of my shield is gone now. So there's that. Yeah, so this is where the key was. Oh, shit. And when we went down, we, we ended up where the thousand gold was, and then I nearly died on the way back. I think leveling up also restores your charges. Oh, res yeah, so leveling up rest definitely restores your health. It might also restore charges. It does not restore your health in the PC-88 version. That's another way that that version is more rude than this. Oh, uh, no, I would, I would like to just climb again. Thank you. I probably shouldn't, uh, shouldn't have even bothered going this way, really. Yeah, I would, I would imagine it probably doesn't... It does a lot less in the PC-88 version. Okay, where does this take me again? Uh, this was actually where I just was, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Uh... I might as well just reload, honestly, because I just went in a circle and did nothing productive. I mean, I guess you could argue I should be farming the Almas, but... Given the crappy exchange rate here, how much would I have ended up with? The end costs 100. Uh, okay, so we tried top right. Let's try left. Uh, okay. Oh, that was a bad idea. That might be where I came down from after I got the key and went the long way. Did I ever go up here? Honestly, not sure. Are you- can I entice you into coming down? There we go. Oh, we, dude, nope down. All right, have I been up here though? Uh, I pro, I think I have, and I shouldn't be up here. I think I tried going up there once. It didn't turn out very well. What? Hi? Ow? Well, this is also a bad place to be. Um. Oh well. Yep. Guess I'm dead. All right. Because of the way that the maps in this work, that they wrap on themselves in both axes, um, it's very easy to end up in a bad place that you shouldn't be yet in this area. Okay, so that was to the left up here, so what would be next? Left over here, I guess. How did that guy die after he went through me? How did it keep my... I thought I selected my magic after I reloaded. I know I've been over here before, too. Oh, this is also the place I don't want to be yet, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Alright, it's, it's amazing how many ways I can find to be in the place that I don't want to be yet. Fix my camera centering a little bit. Uh, okay, so if not there, then where? I guess we're going down here? Oh. Okay, yeah, you go down that way. How- excuse me, what? Cool. Since when does firing a fireball at a blob not one-shot it? That- that is what threw me off there.
Uh, this is bad. There's a lot of blobs here. I just ended up going in a circle. Right, okay, because I know I can't go over here, so that's pointless. That's just the, uh... That leads to the back door to the village. That's up the slope. And I can't go to the right of that because I need the shoes that we're looking for for that, too. Did I try going over here? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, so then down to the left, I guess. I was trying to push the alt button and it like wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. Alright, so that leads in here. I feel like I already did the stuff that I could do in here. Uh, well, that's rude. Could you guys maybe not? Holy crap. And I can't go up there anyway. Oh, I thought I'd be safe from that. I'm pretty sure I've gone down here before. Okay. Uh, he's back. <laughs> uh, can I safely recharge here? We can change the speed of the game. That's something that they added in this version. Might as well make use of it. Actually, did the rest mechanic exist in the uh, PC-88 version? I don't... I'm not sure about that. I don't remember if I read any differences in that regard. get turned around there. I don't remember turning around, buddy. Oh, the one other thing that I did do was, uh, if you might have noticed in the menu, I bought another... During my return trip, when I was in places where things are actually reasonably priced, I bought another, uh, full heal. I've never actually, like, stacked full heals, I've always been buying one and then buying a saber oil, and that's that combination has been enough to carry me through bosses, but I figured I should just go for the, the full, like, you can buy three full heals for the price of one saber oil, so like, why not? At least at this point in the game, I think. I'm back at the beginning again, aren't I? Yeah, I sure am. Alright, so we did nothing useful, again. It doesn't- it doesn't in dungeon- yeah, so they- jeez. That version really is mean. Alright, so what else haven't I done? Uh, well, this is going to be bad. Are you gonna fall down too, dude? That was pretty funny. We're gonna reload. I, I have literally done nothing productive, though, in terms of, like, finding play. The only thing I didn't do is I didn't go back through that door in the lower left. So I should try doing that. I entice you to actually get down here so I can go through this door? Thanks. This was the part with all the other bullcrab gym power platforming, wasn't it? I was gonna say, that looks like you should be able to go through there or something, but no, it's, it's an item. Alright, where does this put me? Got that over there. 
And this is the part, yeah, this is this part. I'm pretty sure there's nothing of value here. I mean, there's technically almost in the bottom left, but you can't, I can't live through going there. I will literally die. I forget, is this actually just the return trip, or was there something else up here? I think I think the other interesting step was over more to the right below. Wow. Holding up actually worked for that. Yeah, this is just the return trip, though. Try something I'm probably gonna regret, which is this. Nope, that worked. Okay. I can't do anything over. This was where the 1,000 gold was. So yeah, there's. Oh shit! There's no point in being down here. Oh come on, dude. I should honestly just reload. Because there's, there's no point in being down here. Where haven't I gone? <laughs> We're really down to the same problem I have. Why are all of the shoes in this game impossible to find? It's basically what it comes down to. I feel like I've been everywhere, but clearly there's somewhere I haven't been. Actually, hang on a sec. That, rude. Okay, yeah, that's just that. Oh, frickin- What?! Dude just phased through that completely and I wasted half my fire. There was absolutely no point in taking that potion because I'm, like, so close to where I started. Oh, well, that was a bad idea. Actually, hang on a sec. Well, we might die. Yep, never mind. I have a stupid idea. Because, like, why is that platform over there? I gotta stop skipping enemies. Rude? Wow, he got me in the butt and somehow didn't obliterate me. Alright, can I, like, go through this somewhere? Oh my god. I'm sorry, but that's bullshit. <laughs> I don't think there's anything conveying that, and I just thought of that now, of like, does this platform actually do something useful, because it seems like there's no reason for it to be here. Oh, hello. Ow? Oh, shit. Uh, I think that's fine, because I can go back. Oh, cool, I got both of them. Why are these here? I mean, like, obviously it lets me get back up there, but... I guess it lets me get back up there a certain number of times, too. Although, if I can set these up like stairs... Yeah, that works. Alright, can we do something with this now? Now, that's a, that's a full-blown overhang. Right, I should have known that was gonna happen. This is rude. Why are you back already, dude? I wonder if that's the shoes. Alright, come 
Pokemon, you know you want him. Maybe he doesn't want him. Seems like he doesn't want him. Nope, that's gold. But it's also a doorway that I haven't been in, probably? Rude! Oh my god, dude. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't... I don't know where that would put us, but like... Wait, this is right where I was, isn't it? Isn't this where the platform is? No, wait, no, that's a rope over there. Oh no, that that ground is not gonna stay. There's two of them? Wow. Double trouble. Alright, this one should be safe. It seems like there would have been no point in being down there, and it probably would have sent me back to somewhere I've already been. Take it. Can I go through that? Let me see what's through here first. So there's definitely stuff I can do here. Oh my god, we did it. We found them. Are they, like, already equipped? No, they're not. I actually have to equip them. He's just gonna stay down there? Wow, what a, what a dude. Okay, that was the other chest I was seeing back there. And that's another recover that I might as well take right now. Okay, but there's one other thing I want to check out. Which is... Wait, no, not here. Where was the door? The door was over to the left also, right? Oh, that's actually convenient. Go back in here. This can I go through here? No, I can't. Okay. In that case, let's go over to where that zombie was. Get this guy out. And now the question is, where am I now? Looks like some place I probably have already been. You can go through that? You jerk. Okay, yeah, this is somewhere. But can I go? I don't think I can go to the right, though. Yeah, it's a one way. Uh, how do I get out of here again? I'm pretty sure I don't want to go in there. Shield's getting kind of low. Oh, now I'm here again, actually. Is this the one that loops me around the top? Please don't die. Thank you. Not the right way. Oh. Oh 
god, my shield is almost dead. Well, that sucks, because the shield is expensive as fuck to replace, too. I might as well restart. I'm also gonna die immediately. Actually, no, I think we're, we're here. But replacing the shield is prohibitively expensive. That might kind of cancel out everything that I just did, honestly. I might have to just do it all fucking over. Because if I exchange this stuff here, it's not going to give me a whole lot. But if I go back to exchange it anywhere else, then I have to do the, the worst part of the game again. Uh, let me see what the, uh, what the cost of the shield is here. Wait, where the hell's the weapon, dude? That's actually not awful, but it does it does cancel out all of the gold that I just got, which feels pretty shitty. But I do I really feel like doing that all over again and remembering where I just went to get the freaking shoes? No, I don't. So I guess we're just going to freaking bleed gold. Is not what I want to be doing because I need to save gold for the freaking sword. staying at the end. I'm just gonna heal once we get out. Which is ridiculous that that ends up being, like, far more cost-effective. Alright, now, which direction was the, uh, sage? Actually, one thing, it's right here. One thing I haven't done is I haven't checked uh, whether I have a, a level up in the works here. Blinking time. We gotta level up. All right, and now that we have the boots, we can go all sorts of places. <clears throat> so let's see what trouble I can get into now. Yeah, because now I can just safely go through this stuff. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, as it turns out, yeah, we're, we're in the thick of that stuff right now. Cool, I've already lost a hundred of my shield again. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, that's the wrong button. I'm reloading. I just got robbed.
Uh, which way did we go last time that we ended up finding stuff? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't this way. Oh, there's something here anyway. Uh, guess what? Nowhere in there is safe. This was a... 500 gold, okay. Now, I think I've been over here before. Yeah, I have. And down here... Oh, actually, that's where I just looped from, okay. 100 more gold. It's like I should go back and deposit the gold immediately. Am I gonna get too close to him if I jump again? Now that works. Uh, what door is this? Have I been through here? I probably have. No? Yes. <laughs> it's actually the beginning. Okay. Let's go back to town, I guess. Wait, no. Oh, it's up there. Sure. Okay, uh, let's repair the shield. We'll deposit the rest of the gold, because why not? There's actually something I want to revisit. Um... Maybe not right away, but there's something that I should revisit. Because I know that there's a bunch of almost somewhere. But I suppose I should only do that after it becomes an issue. I feel a little better now that we found more gold. Oh, I gotta remember that I'm not recharging my spells at all, though. I mean, I guess when I leveled up, that helped me out in that regard. Uh, yeah, where are you, dude? Nice, I accidentally downstabbed him. That'll work. Probably been here too. Yeah, this looks familiar. Whoops. Like how the eye is just perpetually noping out. Oh yeah, this is the bad part. So I don't think I'm interested in going over there. Oops. This was this part. Have I gone over here? This is where I came from, actually. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude! Holy shit! Um... <laughs> get out of here! Okay, now where the hell am I? I feel like I should maybe just hang out for a bit. I can't believe I didn't rely on this, like, more often. This is the first stream of this that I'm relying on, though. I really, like, barely touched the speedometer. Oh, I suppose that's not the right term for it. Speedometer doesn't change speed, speedometer measures it. What is this? Definitely haven't been over here. I guess that's what we're using the key on. That is not the boss door. They want to make darn sure that you have the boots. Right, have I been over here? The what now? I 
I have no idea what that's for. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't suppose I've been over here. Wait, have I been over there? There's no way I've been over here. What was even the point of that? There's another key. Alright, I need you to go over here again, dude, so I can go over here. Possibly boss door key in this case. Oh! How am I gonna get across that now? That seems like maybe a problem. I might have to- there might be like a false wall that I can go through to go another way. I will- I will check this one more time though. Go up that way. Can I make that? Oh, I can make that. Okay, never mind. Come on. I'm trying to conserve my magic, dude. Wait, which way did I come from? I think I came from over there, so I should be going up here. you in being over here? Cool. Uh, no, not cool. Alright, well, I guess I'm, uh, roasting that guy. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice! I got a twofer. Oh, yeah, have my totals gone up more? My, uh, Espada has definitely gone up. I feel like none of the other ones are going up at all. It's only increasing Espada. Which is sad, because I'm pretty sure Espada is useless against the blobs in this area. That's the boss door. Oh, and they give you a full heal before it. Holy crap, dude. Well. I guess it's time. It actually keeps making the noise even when you're in inventory. That's interesting. It doesn't keep making the noise when you're paused, though. I think pause is also a DOS-specific uh, feature. Alright, what is it gonna be? What the fuck is that? Um, I'm dead. <laughs> Get drooled on, nerd. Alright, well we have to retrace our steps through all that. Wondering what I should do about this boss, exactly. Because, like... I feel like my up attack isn't... Well, the up attack is, might actually be better than your neutral attack, just because the up attack is actually faster, but... I have to go get the key again, too, don't I? I don't want to be over here, do I? I don't want to be over there either. Wait, I'm on this side now? Wasn't I on that side before? Yeah, I don't think I want to be over here. This dude's booking it. Oh no. These guys are kind of unreasonable. I don't I don't think we're making it this time, folks. 
I don't remember the exact path I took to get there. Also, wait. I also forgot to go to the bank. I went there on my way out last time, but I don't think I remembered to exchange almas either. Uh, that's not what I meant to do, but hey, 4004. Gold not found. Right, let me go save so I don't have to remember to do that again. Still another one up here. Oh, but this is the low end of this. I don't think I can. I don't think I can climb from here. And this is the left end, which is also not what I want. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't come at me. This is not where I want to be, although... I'll take that. I was hoping he would drop better than that. What? Where did you even come from? I did not see him at all. I, I need to heal. I'm assuming you don't heal when that's over. Yeah. The, the inventory is effectively a pause, except as far as the boss door is concerned, apparently. Did that actually... That actually did change it. I apparently didn't hit enter that time. I don't know what I hit, but apparently you can hit one of multiple keys to change it. I really wish you could, like, grab things in midair, but you totally can't. back here again. Right, I forgot. This is the bad place. That is the way to get here, though. You have to go through the bad place. Okay, so I do have the key. But I need- oh, right, the other key is after that. Right, right, right. I don't know where that brings me to. I don't necessarily want to find out right now, but I might want to, like, get the other key here and then go back and save? I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, well, that's actually fine, because the key is down here. I didn't bother getting that chest this time. There's another chest over there, too, isn't there? That was the glory quest, okay. Which is probably important, yeah. Don't don't forget about the glory quest. Gotta gotta wonder what skipping that would really do. All oh, right, we do have to go this way. Oh, hi. Oh, 
Okay, I was thinking that I didn't want to step right over there, because I thought that part also falls out, but I guess that I guess both parts already fell out over there. Do I no, I don't want to go well, actually, if I go this way. This will lead back. Where does this go? This has got to be close to the entrance. Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's fine. Let's do that, because now we should have... Do we have the key? We have the crest. Um, let's go... Oh, I can't... Well, I'll... What? Uh-huh. Go on. Oh, really? So it's not gold locked. If you find this item. We're gonna need that sword. We might even need it for the boss, actually. That might... Cause now that I think about it, remember that whole, like, don't go through the Demon's Gate without the sword? Um, Demon's Gate is a weird term, but they might mean the boss door. Um, because I think we heard that term used once before in one of the first couple of areas, too, now that I think about it. So I guess we're meant to do this. My question, of course, is like, is there a reason to hold on to that crest and actually pay money for the sword instead? But I think, I think we should take the offer. And he just kicks us out. <laughs> Which is funny, because earlier when we asked about the knight's sword, he was just like, uh, and then he kicks you out of the entire, um, like, explanation menu. Now he kicked us out of the store entirely. It's just like, alright, you're done. There's nothing else I can do for you. Which is actually fine, because I need to go get gold before I can get my armor repaired. Um, but yeah, so we have a better sword now. Which is going to be important, because one of these NPCs did say you need this you need the knight's sword to be able to damage things. I mean, not that I think I have any chance of damaging that boss anyway. <laughs> it didn't it just the way it's designed did not seem prone to be to taking damage from me. Uh so we want to exchange. And then I want to repair my armor. I could stay at the inn if I wanted to. Now that we know that we don't need, you know, a whole bunch of, uh... I want to see if he's... Okay, yeah, the, the sword is, like, off-limits. I wonder if he doesn't even sell it to you, even if you have the money. Because <clears throat> he's just like, uh, and then he stops talking about it. Like, I did think that was a little suspicious, like, there's gotta be something else going on here. We can't buy the crest back, either. That was the other thing I was wondering. Um, I doubt we're gonna have enough for another level up. We haven't done that much. Nah. Oh, I was thinking of maybe putting it in the other file, but oh well. I actually did make backups of both files before I did the, uh, the return trip to use up the, uh, Kyoku Feather earlier off-stream. So if there really is a reason to keep the crest, uh, I do have a backup that is less far back than the first save file is. Uh, right, need to put the rest of the money away. Suppose I should have done that first. Actually, we might as well, like, go out and heal and come back in and save again. 
because I know I have to go through the bad part again, too. Look, is our sword... I've been wondering if the sword's been getting bigger. That looks like... I have a freaking windmill now. Meanwhile, look how... Oh. I'm glad that guy stays there, because, yeah, um, otherwise I would be in trouble right now. Extremely jittery ceiling crawler, dude. Man, look, look at how fast things move on, uh... Oh, I actually got more almost, too. The dialogues don't go any faster, though. <laughs> Alright, let's record now. I don't know if it saves your speed. I'm gonna assume it doesn't. Alright, now let's go back. I think we're one-shotting those now. Uh, so we have to go down here, unfortunately. If you, if you rush it, it's a little bit better. Uh, I did push left, but I apparently pushed it at the wrong time. Oh, apparently you can just, like, hold left and he'll, he actually will transfer across. I was worried he wouldn't do that. You still can't kill those things with the sword, though. Uh, actually, wait, which way am I going now? Because now I have the key. I'm pretty sure this is the wrong way to be going. Yeah. This is where we got the crest. Oh, I jumped too soon. I'm surprised I didn't do that too soon, also. Okay, that works. Ow? Oh my god, dude. Alright, so yeah, I think we want to go up, but I think first I want to get health back. I'm, like, ready to, to do sword things in case a dude comes up from the ceiling on the top. I didn't realize the, the what was it, the gelroid or whatever also animates, so that's really funny right now. So I think we're going this way. Oh, I can one-shot them now, too? so I can go past you. There we go. And this should be a full heal. And now we get to see what happens when I actually have a sword that can hit this thing. Probably still not going to work out very well. I imagine I should just... Well, so the problem is it drools, too. Uh, so I did some damage, but, uh, yeah. You know what? I should try this thing. This is the thing that's supposed to defend you. The question is, how good does it defend you? Also... Is Vista supposed to be the name of the boss? I can't believe we're fighting everybody's least favorite Windows iteration. I'm gonna try that. No, that's not what that was. That's the thing that repairs your shield. I don't have the th I don't have the defense thing. I forget what that's called. I forgot what that item was. <laughs> it's the shield repair. Forgot I had one of those. Um, yeah, so I guess we're gonna do the usual, uh, use the saber oil, 
and then pray. Also, it didn't remember, like, the speed preserved from what I had, ha I had it set at, not from what I saved with. What? How did... Not sure how the eyeball died, but alright, cool. You can't ju you cannot just hold- I keep pressing the wrong button. You can't just hold left. <laughs> As it turns out, you do have to go up a bit. At least once. because there's no reason not to. Okay, so... Once we get in here... Let's use this... I don't know how you're supposed to not die to this thing. There's got to be a trick to this. What if I stay on the side? Nope. <laughs> wow, dude. What? Alright. Oops. Don't do- don't do that. to switch back because controlling this game on speed 9 is basically impossible. That works. I could do this without using both. I technically could have done it without using both. Oh, gee, I wonder why he's giving me a full heal. That's different. Yeah, just to add insult to injury, the fact that I used the extra potion, which I feel really bad about now. Really comes down to how much your potion's gonna cost in the next place. Oh, yeah, I should really switch the speed to 9. I can't do it now, though. I, I wonder if that would actually make these faster.
Also, it did seem like the boss was diving when he came back on screen that time. Whoa. Cavern of Tesoro. All right, immediately a locked door. You just have random parts of the ceiling falling out. Something about the, the way these blocks are rendered messes with my eyes. Dorado. Unfortunately, everything is locked. Well, worst case scenario is I end up fighting the boss again. And trying not to waste a potion when I do it. I'm guessing my shoes won't help me with that one. The heck is going on here, too? Whoa! Excuse me. Excuse you. Is he not actually dead? Uh, would you like to come over here, sir, so I can squish you again? Okay, that works. Whoa! Somebody's doing a drum solo. So I think I've looped. Oh hey, an open door. That's where I came from. We have accomplished nothing. Oh, we're supposed to transfer. Wow, that's rude. And then transfer again here. Um, hi? Can I actually defeat this thing? They want you to do a lot of very quick transfers. Oh, well, that doesn't help me. because I know there are birds. Okay, well, you're down there now. That sucks, because I'm probably gonna die with that gold. If it'll spawn that close, I wonder if I can actually... hit it. Also, can I gain health when I'm ducking? I don't think I can ha gain health when I'm ducking. Wow, their projectiles know no limits. Uh, is it coming back? Yes, it is. I don't want to speed up, but I have no healing now. <clears throat> well, I mean, if I, if I die, I'm gonna reload anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, hi. I can't really do anything useful with that, can I? Well, there's a bird stuck in lava. The problem is I probably need to cross over there. Can I? Oh, that actually reaches lower. All right, will this kill me? No, apparently my shoes also protect from that. Okay. Wouldn't have expected it to do that.
eventually the ceiling was going to kill me. Alright. We gotta we gotta fight the boss again. Uh I don't know which key I hit there. I am okay with this because it's an opportunity for me to not use both health potions, hopefully. That thing seems to consistently drop, though. Come on, what are you doing? What? And then he grabbed? What, what on earth is going on with my jumps? Like, you know, I thought ice was what was messing up my jumps last night, but now it messes up anyway. Oh, the potion always drops in the same place. Last time, the boss happened to die right where the potion dropped, so I thought it was supposed to drop it directly. But yeah, that went a lot better that time. I forgot to, I forgot to attempt to speed this up again. Um, I might be inclined to go save. Since I'm, it's, it is unclear how far into the next section we have to tread before we actually get access to a new village. We know where the new village is, but we need a key for it. So, I'm gonna interrupt the Tom solo. And see if we can backtrack here. Uh, I should just be able to go this way. Where exactly is this, though? Is this gonna be on the other side of that wall? No, this might be fine. Uh, that's a lot of dudes. Holy crap. Speaking of a lot of dudes... Hi, Arcade Monthly. Thank you for the raid. What were you up to? I need to see if I can get rid of these dudes before they melt me. Uh, that works. Sure. Uh, now how the heck am I getting at- where am I? Oh, this is the other side of that. Okay, so this is a one-way anyway. Unfortunate. Um, but thank you for the raid, thank you for the follow. Hope everyone's doing well. Little second channel of Cat and you- oh, okay. Trying te- which- wait, which Tetris are we talking about? Uh, NES? Uh, I am not good at NES Tetris. Um, I remember- I remember playing NES Tetris again after I had tried the Grandmaster, and being like, how does anybody control this game? Like, NES Tetris feels, like, so sticky or something. Oh, ow. Could you- could you not? Thank you. Okay. NES, yeah. What- what level thereabouts is that? I can't remember what I even got to, but it was probably low teens at best. Alright, we go in here, where does this put me? I just finished a boss fight, and I'm... for the second time, and I did better this time, and I want to go save. Okay, now we're at the top, I th Yeah, okay, this is fine. King of the Swamp? Is, th is he on his fourth castle now? Uh, Alright, so we need to turn in Almas first, which 
I would love to hold... You know what? Hmm. Actually, yeah. Let's not turn in Almas, because chances are whatever town is next has a better exchange rate than this one does. And basically any death is a reload anyway, so I might as well just record experience. Um, let me see if I've gained a level first. I'm guessing not. If, if I do gain a level, there's going to be a screen flash, so I will warn about that. Screen flash warning. There it is, there it goes. We did gain a level. Appar apparently fighting the large oversized snot, uh, snot drooling head was enough for a level up. Is this a falcon? You would think, right? M my, when I first streamed this on Monday night, I was like, I can't, my stream title was literally, I can't believe it's not East 3. But no, this is a game arts game. Um, uh, originally by Game Arts for the PC, PC-88, ported by Sierra to DOS. And actually, I think the music in this version is better. Um, the DOS version is also actually, believe it or not, less rude than the PC-88 version. It's still pretty rude, though. Okay, just multiply all the things immediately. Uh, but we got through a very rude, uh, ice section. Oh, I did it again, darn it. Alright. Can't believe I did that again. Let me speed things up till we get back. I like how I killed the thing behind me again. I should honestly pick up the Almas there, but... I'd kind of like to just get into the next area again. If you, if you just hold left there, you will end up losing too much height and falling down. Is there a lot of version differences? There's quite a bit. Um, so the PC-88 version... The exchange rates from Almas to Gold are worse. Uh, if you die in the PC-88 version... You lose all your gold and all of your almas, as opposed to this version where you keep half of your almas. Um, the enemy drops that dr the, the drops that give you a hundred almas in this game only give you fifty in the PC88 version. Uh, the PC88 version does not restore your health and magic when you level up, and there are other bonuses involved in leveling up that uh, this game gives that the PC88 doesn't. The, the one thing the PC-88 version has going for it is dying or warping with the um, Kyoku Feather actually works. In that it actually sends you back to the most recent Sage rather than the beginning of the game. Um, I'm gonna actually speed this up so we can... Also, this the thing I'm doing right now, resting and getting HP back, this doesn't exist in the PC-88 version either. Just look, look at that zombie just jamming out down there. I agree, zombie. This game has hot jams. Also, the speed setting. That's only in the DOS version. Alright, let's see if we can get somewhere besides dead in this area. Oh yeah, you, you want Tetris? We have Tetris in this area. It can kill you. I did that too soon any- oh no, now where am I? Last time I got that first try. Oh, so they come back. Oh, but they died the second time. I see. I'm still not sure whether I can kill this- oh, I can hurt it. It's just really hard because she tends to warp far away from you. And I think only her head is, uh, vulnerable. So, good luck. Oh, I okay. Gives you a hundred almost. That's kind of worth. Oh no, the birds. Oh god. Actually, did that did, did that one floaty dude just get completely obliterated in one shot? <laughs> well, I feel I feel like the one video game that you play lately is very uh very likely to result in death. Alright, so we, we can trudge through. That lava looks like it would be lethal, but because of the boots we got in the last area, we can actually just go through it, no problem. 
Uh, can I jump across this? I guess I could get across it by climbing up anyway. Oh. Well, that's bad. I didn't repair my shield last time, so now we're probably dead. I'll take that, but we're still probably dead. Your shield ends up absorbing a lot of damage for you. Yeah, like that. Case in point. Uh, what's in here? That's gold. Yeah, we're- I should probably just reload. The hearts do eventually despawn, it just takes a while. That's funny, I wasn't quite dead until the bird got- you gotta give the bird the last hit. Yeah, my shield is already half destroyed, let me go fix that. Um, I'm- I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna convert almost though, I'm just gonna pull out some money. I don't even need that much. Uh, here it is. Uh, now you want to go to the bank again, put the money back. Bet you can't fit in that door at nine speed. Okay, now we might fare a little bit better. He didn't drop one that time. I stand corrected. It's not consistent. I was even holding the button that time, and it's still... Uh... I probably can't get across... Oh, wait. Does this reform? This might reform. Does this reform? I, I remember... I feel like I remember seeing some of the ground reform, but maybe not here. Wow, that somehow didn't kill me. That did. This is actually kind of fun. yeah. So don't don't do that. I'm surprised I got that far without too much trouble. But yeah, uh, <laughs> one of the runners did say in Discord. Uh, Good luck trying to, uh, run the game on speed 9. The only fixed speed runs there are on 5 and 6, I think. And other otherwise it's mixed speed. Tommy did drop it. Alright, I should really just wait this guy out. that one didn't hit me in the butt. I think he's trying to correct to climb the thing, and it's just not working. You have to be dead on. I should have walked across the room and into this door first. So there, there's one locked door there, that we can't open, and then I think the next town is over here? Oh my god, bird. Yeah, the town's over there. There's so many locked doors in this place. I've never seen- like, in all the earlier areas, there's like one or two locked doors. 
We've seen four in this place, and we've taken like ten steps. It's kind of ridiculous. And I... Wait, is that a... Oh no, that's a chain. I was gonna say, I haven't seen a single key yet. shield is not lasting long in this area regardless. The purple accents are pretty interesting, I will say that. I don't want to take that right Do I want to go that way? Maybe? I don't know if I've been over there before. Uh, well, never mind. Frickin' birds, dude. What is that? What's, what's the blue thing going on there? Multiple blue things going on here. Accidentally got a bird at the same time. I'll take it. Oh, jeez. That's an interesting place for a chest. You want to come down here? Is this where one of the, uh... Heart tossing ladies is? God, you have no time to react to the birds. It's ridiculous. That's... Okay, that's where that was. So we're back at the beginning again. Last time, I'm pretty sure I got sniped by a bird here. Alright, what I want to try doing is go on this way, because I don't think I went this way last time. Doesn't seem like there's any value to going this way, though. Alright, can I cross this entire thing again? That's unfortunate. <laughs> One is blocking the other. Oh! Yeah, right, that's not gonna work. Are you gonna, like, always warp on this side? I guess not. What are you doing, dude? This guy's losing a jazz ball right now. My shield is almost gone again, by the way. I appreciate that that one was, like, all the way out there when that happened. Have I gone through this door before? I feel like I have. I'm pretty sure I have. I do have the item that'll restore my shield. It doesn't fully restore, it gives you exactly 100 on it. Actually, can I end up- I don't think I can land down there, because if I do this, it's just gonna stop you on the wall. Unless I can do, like, an exact jump through it? No, it's not gonna work. got turned away at the door. That was the 500 gold thing. Oh, well, that was bad. Not that I would have been able to do anything with that anyway. I remember... I'm pretty sure I got up here from the other side in a previous attempt. Okay, 
Okay, so now we're back up here. Like, this has to be the thing you're supposed to do, is over here. Well, I did that too soon. So, you, yeah, you can... So, the thing about this game, for people who don't already know, is they the maps loop both horizontally and vertically. So, you can actually recover that pretty quickly. So, that's good to know. I'm going to reload at this point. Because I used a ton of stuff, and I shouldn't have to use a ton of stuff. Because I'm pretty sure what I have to do is get through that section, which I did manage to do... Whoops. I did manage to do once. And then I died afterwards. Rude. Oh my god, okay. Got past it. I like how he found a little hole to crawl into. How did that miss, dude? might want to rest here, actually. Yeah, okay, I thought I remembered her being over here. Rude. Is he not coming down? Because that, that's going to be a problem if he's not going to come down. Oh, I don't want to be over here. Damn. This is probably what happened to me last time. I need to go to the right.
That was real dumb. So this is probably the second worst part of the game. Out of what I've seen so far. Wow, I'm lucky I got that guy. Oh, well, that's a little sad. I'll probably be back to, f to get that anyway. I don't trust that. Oh, that was extremely bad timing. ATM and good night, Mike. What? How did she? What? Excuse me. What? What? I illegal warp zone? Oh, that's bad. I don't like where that guy is. Oh well. <laughs> Get this dude out of here, please. Now I don't know where the warping lady is. I need I need to heal somewhere. Oh man, my timing was off again. It, there's like a tangible delay when you try to climb down onto a moving platform. Answer Dave's qu what about the run? We we are both assuming that it pauses to heal. Oh my god, I pushed the wrong button. I meant to push down. Uh, well now I'm gonna die. Like I don't feel like there's a safe place for me to stop until I'm through that section. Yep, we're dead. All right. Oh, it actually wasn't for run purposes? I feel like- I feel like that's the sort of thing that you should just be like, uh, yeah, you can't redeem that during the run, I'll do it after. really far to the right this time. I'm still gonna wait it out. this door. I need to take a break, so I'm gonna do that. But I'll leave you with the new music and the Tom solo uh, during the break, and uh, we'll try this platform. I'm really sad because I've gotten that platforming section a couple of times, but I don't think I've ever gone to the right after it, so that's what we gotta try to do when we get back. Okay. Let's, uh... See if we can complete this platforming section. Timer running again. Whoops, that's the wrong button. bird down there and it's making me nervous. Okay. 
so we're back over here, and now we need to go right up here. And the problem is these guys. Oh, come on. If I could get them to come down here so I could clear them out, that would be great. I just ran into her. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have collected the, uh... Almost, because they won't respawn if you don't collect it, apparently, is a thing. I had wondered if I had noticed that in the past, and yeah, apparently that's a thing. Alright, I saw you, bird. Get back here. I don't know what the bird is. Well, there's one. Alright. Oh, god. Okay, I'm glad that ground is long enough to uh, catch me there. Oh, right, this was that... I, okay, so I was here once before. And this is probably where I got killed by the freaking ceiling, yeah. Wait. This can't be the same door, right? No, it's not. This is what leads here. I had said I was on the other side of that once. Holy crap, dude. That other guy doesn't seem like he's gonna come down here. But now the question is, where do I want to go? Because I feel like I... shouldn't really be interested in any of these directions, but... There wasn't anything else to do out here, right? That's, that up there is interesting. Oh, jeez. Right, there was nothing else over there, though. Now, I guess we're gonna have to take a slide of faith. Oh my god, I just wasted a whole ton of shield and health. What the hell, Burton just turns around on a dime after he hasn't been turning around? My shield is gone. Great. Thanks. I hate it. Alright, let's try going down here and see what happens. I'm gonna get generated by a bird. Oh, that's interesting. If you attack while you're on a slope, it apparently, like, apparently it stops you. Uh, can I heal here? Alright, this is different. I haven't been here. Oh, god. I don't like, I don't like any of that. Is this place. That is a very odd shape going on over there. Gonna come back down? Okay. That d okay. It is not the shape of an arrow. Can I get this guy to come down first? That would be great. one over here, too. Look, you guys need to stop existing. That's okay. I can, I can deal with that. That's not, that's not okay at all. How are you, you can't, you can't even get over there unless you can destroy it. I guess I'll take that now. And now I'm back over here. That sets you extremely far back, because you basically have to do everything again, I think. Yeah, you have to do everything again. So I might as well reload at this point. Because we're, we're, right, we're right back here. There's absolutely no point in, in losing all my resources. Oh boy, that stinks. I did it again, dude. Now I'm just making the same stupid mistake all over the place. 
we're never even gonna get back there. But yeah, this this uh this is starting to get real unreasonable because like as far as I know, there's no closer place to that whole mess to come back to if to you know reload from. Because we can't get to the town yet. Try it again. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, cool. Yeah, so you can one-shot. The, the downstab is pretty strong. Because you can one-shot them with it. Oh, what? I was still too slow. Because I was too far up. However, I am not fine with. Could you come over here, please? Are you are you not going to come over here? Yeah, there it is. Birds are weird because apparently they still obey gravity when when they fall. So last time I went over to the right. And that might be the thing we have to do. Because there's definitely more... more st oh, jeez. Wow. Again, how did I get turned around? How was I facing left there? I don't know. Can I heal here? Alright, oh, I think ducking takes you out of resting. You would think that crouching would help you rest more. Although, I guess... I guess any uh, MLB catcher who's been in, in the league for 20 years would indicate otherwise. Are you going to come down? Ow. I don't trust this guy. There you go. I'm pretty sure these blocks reform eventually, too. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen them reform. Ah, ow, how did that not work? Okay, wait, so that's that. I don't think I ever tried going to the right. this nonsense over there. Well, I guess I'm taking that. I didn't really mean to. What on earth is going on here? Interesting that there's, like, a shortcut there. Whoa! Okay. Whoa, oh, it's back. Meanwhile, this guy lives there. 
How am I gonna end up picking that up? What? The Did it like prioritize the almas over the platform or what? So I just fell through the platform and picked up the almas instead. Is he gonna stay up there now or is he gonna come back? So I feel like we're supposed to do something here, but I'm not entirely sure what, because I wouldn't be able to stand up there. Oh, that, that was interesting. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Alright, where does this put me? Oh, right, this puts you over there, which is awful. Actually, that puts you on the other side of this. I feel like there's no reason to take this. Unless I can break that stuff, too. How did you end up down there, dude? I thought you were a bird. That doesn't work. I want to see if there's any chance of getting through here this way. Oh, well, that stinks. Because otherwise you have to go all the way back around and it's, like, not even worth it. Oh my god, you can. That's ridiculous. You can actually get back this way. Um, which might mean that this is actually effectively a short- Ow! Shortcut? Shortcut to getting my ass eaten by a bird? My god, the birds respawn way too quick. Problem is I'm not really safe here. Pretty sure I got bonked out of this position last time. Okay, so this gets me here. Which is interesting. Oh, I should have been doing the up attack. And my shield's gone. But now that I know this, so here- Okay, this, oh, well, I'm fucking dead, apparently. Um... The thing that I'm unclear about is you might only be able to take that shortcut when you've come from the right to begin with? I'm not sure. But it's worth trying. that up shouldn't be that hard. Normally if you press up and you're a pixel off, it'll like wiggle you into position. I'm not sure what happened that time where it like wiggled me past it, I think. Alright, so now the question is how do I get to that other area?
Oh, uh, thanks, I hate it. Oh, that actually gets you right there. I don't think I've been there before. I'm assuming I can't, yeah, I can't get up there. I feel like I have gone there before. I don't want that right now. I did try this once before. Forget where this ended up leading me. Isn't there supposed to be another platform here? Oh, this was this part. I don't know that I've ever been here. No, I haven't, because I, I remember seeing that chest and I never got to it. Could you guys fucking knock it off? Holy shit. Okay. I don't think there's any reason for me to be over there. I think the next thing to do is wait out this platform again. Because I think there's another thing I can climb. The problem is, I might get sniped before that happens. Yo, I can rest while I'm climbing, apparently. This guy must be Chuck Norris. I guess I'll take that one. I probably don't want to go down there right now. Have I been over here? I have no idea. Well, it seems like the other ones would just get me over here anyway. Oh, what is this? I can climb this. So this is new. Oh, it's you. Okay. We'll go here. Uh, have I been here already, though? I think, yeah, this is where the platform takes you naturally. So I'm pretty sure I've been here. Okay, they all melted. There's another one? Jeez. That stinks. The nice thing is they always drop on this. I, I feel like I might want to try to salvage this particular excursion. If at all possible. Unfortunately, I still haven't really, like, gotten anything super productive out of it. No, I didn't expect that bird. Alright, so we're back here, so we're actually close to the beginning. Then. I'm actually gonna go back. Because we've got a bunch of stuff to cash in. If I can just remember where this puts me. Oh man, they're two hit now. Watch my health. I can go this way. This is not where I thought I was. Uh, 
I, I know I can rest while climbing, right? Yeah. It's unfortunate that, like, yeah, the game definitely suffers from being heavily padded by... nonsense. So that's definitely a thing. I didn't need to recover at all. I didn't take a single hit after that. <clears throat> Alright, what do we want to do now? Repair the shield first, since I have gold anyway. And now, deposit the stuff. Oh wait, no, I'm not- I'm not exchanging. I've- I've been purposely holding on to that. But we'll deposit the money, because there's no reason not to. And I guess we'll see if we can have a level up, I doubt it. Here we go again. He's still... He was still going that way. I, want, I, I draw him down here because uh, there's all the falling segments up here, and I don't want to waste magic on them. Since I am avoiding using the inn, since the inn in the previous place is highway robbery, as is most other stuff you can buy there. Okay, so, hmm. Tried going a couple of different ways now. We found a couple of interesting things. We still haven't found any keys. I don't think I've even caught sight of any keys, which worries me. Alright, let's just try actually doing the platforming again. And fail miserably. Oh, right. I have to actually climb down that one. I'm pretty sure that's the, the wrong side of it. I would love to be able to get to all those doors up there. Those are all gonna be, like, unwanted return trips. Ow. This is the door I'm thinking of, isn't it? No, but that's on the other side. No, this is the other door. The 
but then this leads back here, which I'm not interested in. Going to the right, I'm pretty sure I'm not interested in, so I'm pretty sure I want to go here, but where does this lead? I, prob I probably should have let that go down. Oh, did I never do that? I, n I must have never done that. That's what we need to do, dude. How did I never do that? Good lord. Alright, well, we gotta, we gotta do the thing. This is the other door I was thinking of. It's right over here. Right, okay. So where does this lead me? Because this is the door that I was looking for the whole damn time. Where is this? Jeez. Oh, okay, so it's over here. I'm surprised... No, I'm surprised the bird isn't on my ass. What I want to see... Is, can I alternatively... back down here? That's not what I wanted to do. There you are. Oh, it's up there. I want to see if I can actually go across this. It might not be possible from this direction. Yeah, okay. And also, it might be... It might honestly take longer and be more of a pain in the ass than actually just doing the platforming over again. Also, he's in a really bad spot right now. We might actually be able to do this, though. I didn't mean to do that at all. Oops. Oh, come on. Thanks, I hate it. Alright, keep that guy dead. It is, but the thing is, I came across from the right first that time, and I wasn't sure if it would work coming from the left initially, but it looks like it will. The thing is, going across this is ostensibly an alternative to the, the multiple climbs thing, but it might not be worth it. <laughs> this is honestly worse. Oh, what the hell, dude? Yeah, because you're getting, like, obliterated by all these fucking enemies. I'm actually dead. It's- you're better off just doing it the other way. Because that- that way actually just sucks. I, I figured no I figured no way could possibly suck worse than the way that you have to do all the climbing, but nope, that way actually sucks worse. We did the science. We know what the answer is now.
was actually further to the right that time to begin with. Alright. Do I remember what the hell I was doing last time? By the time I get back there, I will have forgotten what exactly I did. That's the problem with these maps. They're just confusing enough and way more inconvenient than needed to where you forget what you were doing by the time you get back there. Hits me even then. Oh, jeez. Alright, am I actually safe over here? <laughs> Look at the freaking bird and everything. It's like those dancing pug videos, except in those the pug just goes nuts for a couple of seconds at a time, usually. Now we just ride the platform down. I didn't even need that. And now we're up here. Lo and behold. Now the question is, will I fall through those gaps? Uh, if I do that, I will. Well, now we get to do this nonsense anyway. Although, actually, wait. Isn't this the side I want to be on? No. I think I want to be on the left. I meant to duck there. No. Th well, hmm. Do I want to be on the left? Wasn't the left where I was performing science before? Yeah, because I came in through there. And because I had already fallen down. Right. So like, yeah, I could go I could go across that way, but it's probably less painful to just do this over again. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. design in this is just so terrible. Well, I mean, the enemy design in this area in general is terrible. Wow, that was close. Alright, I forget, can she launch those through there? No, she just kisses the wall. Alright. Uh, the question is, will she eventually warp over here? I probably shouldn't take that bet. <sighs> I 
I'm definitely getting to the point where I'm sick and tired of this game wasting my time. I am going to be very curious to see how much bullshit the speedrun can skip. Because, uh, I'm inclined to think the answer is not enough and I'm not speedrunning this. I feel like, uh, I feel like Board Boosters needs a rule- Because I- First of all, I want to see if the person who, uh, who voted this- Who, like, put this on the poll for Board Boosters- I'm forgetting what I'm doing here now. I want to see if that person actually runs it, and if they don't, I think there should be a punishment of some sort. If you subject everyone else to a legitimately terrible game to speedrun, and you don't do it with them when you're the one who put it on the on the board, on the on the wheel, uh, you you should owe everybody who actually completes a run during the month of board boosters. All right, let's try it again. Probably the most bullshit I've ever put up with in a game. It's kind of it's kind of sunk f cost fallacy at this point for me. Like I'm halfway through the game, right? So we got to finish it. I think it might be on the other side of this wall. Yeah, it's on that- is that the one you were talking about? It's on the right side. Isn't there a bird over here? Yeah! <laughs> Alright. I don't need that anyway. You must be able to jump back onto this one. I don't want to fall off of there. I'm very wary of this dude, though. Alright, so if I just walk, will this work? It does just work. You, you are actually Mario. Okay. I should have tried that in the first place. Alright, where did- <laughs> There was a freaking ceiling thing about to fall on me there, dude. Why does this exist? That is a weird platform. That is extremely suspicious. Can I do this? There's nothing there. Let me guess, this goes to one of those other doors with the, with the, with the platform? Yeah, it does. What's up here, though? Wow, I magically managed to block that. Alright, this is still new to me, so I might as well try it. There's a- oh, there's another key up here. Like, this is not the same key that we saw in the first place. But that is a key. Go figure, there was a falling ceiling block up there, but it waited a while. So the problem is we have to go back through this again. Uh, would you like to come back over here, dude? This dude wants no he knows I'm gonna flatten him. Is he, is he coming? There he is. Come on, you know you want it. Come on. Head trauma, get your free head trauma, come on. There you- what? Was that a different one? Or does- does bopping them on the head do less damage than my sword now? This guy is just noping the heck out. Alright, there you go. Fortunately, that doesn't put you back that far. Because, like, this is the platform we have to ride down now. And now we know that we can just run right across, Mario style. Ow. 
now. I kind of want the free Almas, but on the other hand, I don't think I care. Might as well, might as well heal right now. That platform down there on the left side of the screen is just weird to me. Like, why is it there? Like, I, I tried raising it up before to, thinking that it might, uh, be hiding something in the wall, but it doesn't seem like it. I mean, where it is right now, it allows me to climb back up there. Alright, yeah, you need to go away. That was the dude who dunked me last time. I don't know if it's safe to drop here. Okay, it is. And this guy wants to get dumped. I don't know if I've been over there, but I guess we're gonna find out what's in here. Whoa, he got through there? Surprise! Did not expect that. I kind of want to check the wall there, but it's probably not worth it. Oh, wow. So, she can appear on any of those platforms. Seems like she really likes the lava, though. She just turned around. Okay, cool. Thanks. That does me a favor. Oh god, there's a bird down there, too? Why? Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, can I get pushed through? No. I don't know... Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. But yeah, this all is entirely new. Is that where I'm going next? We're in the other one now. This should have the other key. Now it has a chest. Okay. Oh, I did that wrong. It seems like if you're right next to her, she turns around. Like she miscalculates. Is there any anything else through here? At this point, I am very inclined to, like, go back and save, if at all possible. Oh, that, that'll help. Okay. I think we've done all we can do here. How many things are up there, actually? Is she gonna warp in here, or is this a different one? I thought I was hearing boss door noises for a second. interesting that you can actually seemingly hit, hit her on her way out, too. Oh, I meant- I didn't mean to stand up. I'm taking that. Okay, yeah, this is over here again. Where am I, exactly? I kind of just want to get out and save. What I should probably do is open the next town, but I'm also inclined to, like, go back and save in a separate slot so that I can, like, test which of the doors I can unlock that I want to unlock, because we have one key right now. Oh, jeez. 
Jeez. Where exactly am I right now? Wow, I got lucky with that bird. Okay, so now we're here. What is the easiest way back from here? Do not kill me. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't remember if I can go back this way. No, I can't. My shield is almost gone, too. I am gonna be real mad. Oh, my God. Oh, we're, we're near the beginning now. So... I am very tempted to just open that door. I don't want to take the chance, and I want to go to a town. Let's see what they say. Welcome to Dorado. This was once a thriving merchant town where everyone lived a peaceful life. Jashin has reduced it to a sad, desolate place. Alright, what do we have? Please tell me your economy isn't as bad. It's just as bad. Uh, you can, you can get shield repairs for cheap, though, apparently. So there's that. But everything else is the same price as it was elsewhere uh, in the last town. Spirits say that Jashin returned because the people made soft by peace and prosperity sank into corruption. Yeah, blame the AI bros. A word to the wise, the door bearing the green symbol cannot be opened. There's no use trying to force it. It absolutely cannot be opened. Does that mean if I had tried to use the key on it, it wouldn't have worked? See, now I now I feel like I want to go back and try to open the green door instead. <laughs> it's kind of why I wanted to make another save first. Well, I need to I need to really remember to save to a separate slot so we can go back and try to do that if we want to. I have a message from the spirits. Wait for the moving edge of the platform made of shining blocks. What? Okay. I guess we'll know it when we see it. This building wasn't here before, was it? You can't put up a building like this overnight. How did it get here? Isn't that a sage building? The door looks weird, though. Wait a minute, there's another person I haven't talked to. The middle of the caverns is made of pure gold, but there's one fake gold wall that can be destroyed. Using the money and treasures of Dorado and other places, Jashin built a place of his own. The Tesoro and Barada caverns are his domain. We can't... Oh, no. I can't save here, can I? Because that would be the Sage's Hut, except, uh, it's closed. When you find green stone slabs that can be moved up and down, arrange them like a staircase so you can go up easily. I've done that in one place before. Maybe this is the Sage's Hut, actually. Someone who went into the caverns told me the Shirakano shoes are hidden in Tesoro. Not more shoes, dude, jeez. Of the four rooms in the center, they are in the far right room. Four rooms in the center, huh? Interesting. I was I was wondering how many there were, because at, at first I thought there were... I think I know the rooms he's talking about, and at first I thought there were two. But if that were the case, I probably would have gotten two keys. All right, room. Okay, this is a sage. It made the spirits proud with your bravery. <laughs> The magic spell of falling rocks. Can you can you believe it? We've got falling rocks in the video game, and we're the ones causing them. Uh, all right. Please, please tell me I've gained a level. You've got to be kidding me. All right. What do you have to say? Once you leave this world, get the Silkarn shoes made by the spirits at the behest of Purcell. If you do not get those, you cannot travel far from this world. We'll see about that. Wasn't Purcell the ones responsible for the first shoes, too, and we ne never got those? Or was Purcell the one responsible for the ones we did get? I don't remember. All right. Save to a different slot. I feel like I should also rename the other one, which I can actually do outside of the game because it's actually just the file names. Um...
I, I will probably call it soon, but I want to check out the rest of the town first. Alright, we do have an inn. I'm not going to use it. Using the money and treasure... Okay, we saw that already. A peace statue called Taruso stood here, but one night it disappeared. Where in the world can it have gone? Maybe it's in that building that randomly appeared. The evil Jashin must have taken a liking to it. Alright, what do you have? Illuminate. What the fuck is that price, dude? Is this a- it, maybe we're gonna find a third crest and trade it? I don't know. Illumination sword. Uh, that is not a nice number, I'm sorry. It's like, if you thought you could pay your way to the, the other one, uh, they made sure you couldn't with this one, because that would be ridiculous. He also sells the other one, though. <laughs> the knight sword is here. You literally couldn't get here without the knight sword, because you needed to defeat that boss. So, like, why is, why is it even sold here? That doesn't make sense. I guess you could technically, like, upgrade and downgrade. Like, I don't know why you would ever do that, but... Also, we can only make rocks fall three times, I'm noticing, at the bottom right. Alright, what do you have in terms of this? Honor shield, maybe I'll actually be able to afford. But now there's a light shield. Alright, what do you have to say about your sword? Got a lot of grit, I'd say. This one really packs a punch. A top-of-the-line sword for a top-of-the-line swordsman. Will you take it? I mean, yeah, but I'll steal it, because no one's paying that much money for it. He actually describes it, though. He doesn't just say, uh. Uh, alright. Remind me what your description of this one is, because I thought you already said this was good. In a class by itself, it is strong and light and easy to use. Superior shield, the, the least a brave man should have. Oh, you've got quite an eye for these things, I see. This shield is not made of common iron. It is made of a magic metal called Magane. Against ordinary weapons, it's unbreakable. Oh. That would be neat if I didn't have to worry about my shield breaking anymore. Uh, I do need to... <laughs> Since my current shield is not unbreakable, I should probably... Probably repair that. Because I'm assuming I won't have enough to afford the other shield yet. Um, how much did this one cost again? 14 8 yeah, no, there's no way. If at all possible, I should probably try to just wait it out and get the, the unbreakable shield and skip the other one. Alright, what else do we have? Oh, uh, well, I don't want to go that way yet. I really am sad about the green door, though. Uh, I'm curious how, how much this costs. It's getting more expensive. Let me guess. The exchange rate is still gonna be butts. It's f You know what? I'll take four. Four is way better than two. I have a lot of gold right now. But yeah, I've, I've been holding on to my almas until we found a better exchange rate than two. I suppose I could have ar arguably held on even longer until we found something even better than four, but... Uh... Yeah, you should be happy. What's my balance? I actually almost have enough for that shield already. Holy crap. So, yeah. We should, we should skip straight to the unbreakable, allegedly, shield. Okay, um, but that's probably gonna do it for me for tonight. You know what? I will... I'm gonna save first. And then we'll, we'll poke our head outside this direction just to see where it puts us. I have no idea where this is. I also need to heal. So yeah, this is a new bit of the level, that's for sure. But I'm, I'm really wondering if you have to pick between Dorado or the green door. Time, time for the never-ending Tom solo. 
And also birds. Alright, there's literally no reason to go down there. Our, our only choice is basically to go this way. I can't believe I jumped early on that. And also, we're, we're currently saving up money because we almost have enough money for... ...a really good shield that should not deteriorate. So, like, I might just skip one shield entire- oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Remember all the platforming from Hell that we did last time? Well, we're gonna be doing more of it. Like, the, the last place was entirely about platforming. At least there's no ice. Okay, there's also a slope down there, but I don't know... I guess, I guess if there's any time to look at that, it's now. Okay, that lets us go over here, actually, or we can return to the town. Oh god, what is going on over here, though? Can I even land on that? I don't trust that. I'm gonna wait for the platform. Oh, I have to duck. Of course I have to duck, and I just got flushed down to the bird again. We might have a couple of choices here in terms of stuff to do. Because, like, if we climb up here, what, what are we looking at? Oh, okay, I can- well, I'm down here again, alright. I was wondering if I could actually make the jump over that, you can. Oh, what? I misjudged it. So yeah, this is kind of reminiscent of that one room in the ice area, except it is less infuriating because no ice. Since I never actually found the shoes for that. Speaking of which, we are supposed to be finding more shoes, apparently, for some reason. I don't remember if they... T yeah, you have, to, you have to jump earlier so you can actually land on that thing, because otherwise there's no way you're going to land on the platform. I, okay, that was too early. Oh, I, I thought I could make that. I could not, in fact, make that. That platform has places to be. Oh, man. Alright, how about let's go... There There was another direction I could go, so maybe I should go the other way first, because this is kind of awful. So if I go here... My other option is... What the heck? Oh, that was the, the ceiling. Okay. Oh, no. Well, I flushed myself immediately back down to the bird. We managed, we managed to uh, avoid detection that time. Yeah, it's, it's down there. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. At this point, I should reload, because I'm just losing shield to the bird every time. It's kind of funny that, like, we're just- this is just the start of this area, like, holy crap. Uh, right, we were gonna try this thing. What? I'm- I'm always one off on the timing. Alright, I'm gonna reload. And I did rename my other save file, so we know where that is, if I ever want to use it. I actually must have... I must have taken some hits to the shield and not repaired it last time. Because it would be at 180. I'm not gonna worry about it, though. I guess I'm trying this one again. Well, okay. <laughs> that works. If only I could do that every time. Oh my god, dude. This is one of those things that you have to, like, learn the visual cue for the right timing. And unfortunately, I have memorized the visual cue for not the right timing. 
Alright, should I count? One, two, three, four. Four is not enough. Unless, maybe I just need to be holding left. I haven't been holding left. What? Okay, that works. Like, I don't want to hold left for too long. Yeah, there you go. That's awful, dude. What? There's nothing over here. What? What is even the point? Why would they do that? Why would they do this to me? Oh, I can hit that guy through the wall. Oh. I can hit him through the wall, but then he can, like, phase through the platform. Okay, that happened to work. But yeah, what the heck is the point? Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, well, I guess we are going the other way, then. Hang on. There's nothing special over there. Now I have to pick this up, unfortunately. Hey, Unwary. <laughs> um, well, the funny thing, it'd be funny you ask that, because there is a speed configuration. So you can make the entire thing run faster. Uh, good luck controlling it, then. Uh, but fi five is the default, and that's what we've been running on. And also, some of these platforms are faster than... God damn it, I did it again. Some of these platforms move faster than others, also. Um, so this game was originally on PC-88, and that version did not have the, uh, the speed configuration, but the DOS version does. Wait, I want to go over here. Okay, yeah, if I go right there, I can just land there. There we go. I could have tried to rush that. Oh, there's there's one near the ramp, too. Not the I don't know why you would even... Oh, we have to go there. Okay. Oh, boy. That's... That's something. Okay. Oh. I'm glad I passed... I'm glad that platforms don't push me off. I definitely didn't expect that to work. Now, the thing is, I'm not going to be able to go up from here, because I can't jump that high. So, like, this this is my option right here. I'm guessing the point is to go this way. Alright, we've done this kind of thing before. Uh, now, now they're making me make a leap of faith. Really? I can't believe this isn't Hyper Metroid. Get down here, you jerk. Like, what am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> like, really? I'm trying to get a sense of how often it's over there. Timed it to the music, it worked. There's a chest up there. Alright, now where the heck are we? Can I hit you from here? No, that wall is too thick. Well, we know where the boss is. I don't have any keys. And as you can see, there are also other locked doors in this area, so we're not ready for that. Where the hell else can I go, I guess is now the question. Because I thought that was the only way I could go in this entire area. Of course, now I have to go down. Oh, I almost made that. Alright, is there anywhere- oh, hi. Anywhere else to go down here? Not really. Oh. 
You jerk. Oh, I thought she was gonna turn around. Because, like, it's... There are certain setups where it seems like if you're right next to her, she just fires in the wrong direction. Yeah, like that. Not before she bonked me, though. Oh, hello. Uh... I can probably leave that, because, uh, that might be useful before the boss. Uh, okay, here's the question, though. Legit, how am I getting out of here? There must be something else I haven't done, because otherwise I don't see a way out of here. Oh wait, no, I think I went to the left instead of the right. She already respawned? Good grief. That was fast. Could you stop doing that? I keep going down too far. Oh my god. Awful timing. I managed to time the off-screen platform, but uh, things that I can plainly- Oh, come on. That was a hair off. I did the same thing again. Oh, come on. Okay, thank you. I should have just- I could have just, like, jumped off the other chain. Nice, I just got on that platform without even trying. Alright, yeah, this is how we get out of here. Uh... Okay, I landed, good. I- I guess I might as well... go, like, exchange stuff and repair my shield and whatnot. I have done absolutely nothing useful other than we know where the boss room is. What a relief to be in an area where I can exchange at a better than 1 to 2 rate. Uh... Yeah, we'll deposit next time. Let me go do stuff first. Also, what items do I have? I have... Oh yeah, we haven't tried the, the Falling Rock spell yet. What does... I need to find out what Rascar translates to. Hang on. Because everything... Everything has just been a Spanish word. Did I look this up last time? It means to scratch. Not the word I would have expected, but okay. And while we're at it... Dorado is literally the word for gold. And that's the name of the town we're in. I should have looked up Tesoro and whatnot also, but oh well. Uh, right, so I was looking at my items. Uh, why is it not letting me go? Oh, because I'm in town. I can't go to, I can't use items in town. But I should have, uh, there's, I have a shield repair item, which actually I should use before we end up upgrading my shield. Um, because otherwise I have no use for it. And I have one, one life restore item. And I don't think we can buy any any other stuff here, really. Oh, they have... They have the Magia Stone. Was that the defense thing? I forget. I mean, I don't have enough money to buy it right now. Yeah. I need to try this thing. Unfortunately, I don't have the money for it on me right now. And I don't think I'm gonna worry about it right away. Uh, we need to go back to the weapon guy. How much was the shield again? 14.8. I think I had 13 something or other, so like, we're, we were pretty close. We can check when we put this gold away. I'm not going to worry about the end because I can rest once I'm in the field. Yeah, so we need another thousand or so. Also, I might as well speed things up right now.
Also, actually, let me do something while I'm thinking of it. I'm just backing those up in case I ever hit the wrong button. Okay. Back to normal speed. So now the question is, is there anything else I can do here, or should I be looking for other stuff to do... ...in, uh... The other direction where we came from. You would think I would have exhausted my options out there, but... Right, so this this had seemingly nothing I could do here, which is weird. Oh, that does kind of work, okay. Right, was there anything else I could do here? Probably technically hit that guy if he came over here. There's a platform over there, which is interesting. I can't do anything now, can I? I don't know if I can, like... Oh, I can. Holy crap, I saved that. Ow. But this is where I went last time, wasn't it? This is what led to the boss door? what led to the boss door. So there's nothing for me to do around here. So the question is, what else can I... Oh, wait. Have I been down here? I shouldn't? Yeah, isn't this just where... This is just where the town is. is there's nowhere else to go down here either. Oh wow, I back attacked the bird. Get wrecked. Oh, something I didn't realize. So not only can you press up and down at the same time to do this, you can press up and down and a direction. Yay for keyboards with anti-ghosting. Uh, so yeah, I... I get the impression I gotta go out the other way and look for more stuff there. But now the issue with this is like... Ow! The issue with this is where the heck can I even go? Like, obviously there's this, which you can't open. Which actually, is that even... I wonder if that's a different message than doors that require normal keys. I don't know if they normally just say locked, or if they always say can't open this door. Gee, I'm glad I didn't stop there. Isn't there one of the, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, one of you is in here. And you're over there now. Oh my god, you jerk. can't even do anything here. We're safe? Wait, we're- Oh my god, dude! Holy crap. And we're basically dead. I'm just gonna reload now. Especially since, like, I decided to go the other way. I, I would like to make some kind of progress tonight, that would be great. Don't make me feel like I'm just wasting my time. It's like, even disregarding the need for maps, I'm wasting my time, because the game is just being bullshit. Oh, I should have done that one. Because you can't do it when they're crossing, because you will get pushed off. I almost, wow. I almost missed that on multiple counts. Why are there three of them? Oh my god. Well, two of them are dead. Alright, that works. Alright, I'm getting over here, dude. Jeez, just... Give me a second, and I'll go where you want me to. Two birds? 
where are all these enemies coming from? The game is getting even worse. You, you, the, the game is acting like I looped an arcade game or something. I've actually been, like, attempting to, like, cut up my, uh, cut up the VODs for posting to YouTube eventually, and I've, like, been going through and, like, cutting out the waiting for health to refill and stuff. And I've cut out a couple of sections where I did nothing productive. Um, so far I'm gonna cut out, like, the entirety of tonight's stream. <laughs> That's how this is working out right now. this thing. No! Why? Something about moving platforms is what's doing it, I have to expect. Let me check something. I could have sworn there was a way to get back on one of these sides. Is there a way to get back from here? Maybe there is. Uh, I am worried about this bird. I am no longer worried about this bird. Uh, I can get back from here, can't I? No, I can't, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I cannot shrink to a single unit of height. I don't think that's gonna work. So, that's unfortunate. And I'm pretty sure you can't get over there from the other side. Is there really no way to save this? Wait, can I save it by going down until we go up? Oh, well, I might die. Okay, we didn't die. Hang on, what's the, what is this platform and what is the... Oh, that's that door. That's the head trauma door. I came from up there earlier, didn't I? At some point? What, how is the bird... Dude, what? Apparently we found the bird bath. Get wrecked, birds. Alright, I can't go over there anyway. Where does this put me again? Actually, is this where I wanted to be any- This is where I wanted to be anyway, isn't it? Did this actually get- This got me to the same- Well, it got me to one of the same places, at least. So yeah, let's- let's go with this. Yeah, so this gets me over here. That was- that was the part earlier that I didn't want to jump down to. But that's the door we just went into, I think, to get here. So it just sends you, like, 20 blocks east. And then I'm pretty sure this gets you to one of the middle rooms. One of the middle rooms that we've already been in. Yeah. So this might have been where I got the key. Because there was, there was a thing up here. Good lord, there was also head trauma, because of course there was. Should I check? I probably already checked over there for... For breakable wall. Now here's the thing, I'm, I'm sure I was in another one of those compartments, too. Probably the one, probably that door over there leads to one. I already took the step, that was probably a full heal there. Is there anything else exciting for me to do here? Doesn't seem like it. So yeah, revisiting this has so far come up empty. I could have sworn this was the first compartment I found up here. But I don't remember how I got to the second one in that case. And the thing is, if you go down here, you just end up back. Yeah. Oh no, this is the right side! So the compartments that I was walking underneath before were the ones on the left side. Have I gone down here? Probably. Ow. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. That's why I stand up to hit her, because her only her- she's like the zombies, only her head is vulnerable. Is this where I think it is? Is this the- no, that's not the same platform. Where did this actually put me? Is this the consolation prize section again? I think it is. Down to 55. Sh yeah, this is definitely the consolation prize section. Yeah, because this is that specific thing that you can climb if you stop mid slide. My shield is going to be uh, no longer with us pretty soon. I mean, at this rate, I doubt I'm going to find anything useful here anyway, but... I might as well take that for now, just while I'm exploring. Also, I, I have heard... I, I suspected that the, uh... The refilling of the health was exploitable, and I think it actually... It, like, basically TGL style. Um... I have heard that, that ref the health refill animation ex is exploitable. And I have to wonder, like, I haven't looked into the speedrun at all yet. Oh, that's right, this is this area, which is awful. Um, I have to wonder if the speedrun takes advantage of that. Okay, we just looped. Uh, what if I go up there? If this guy comes down here so I have, don't have to worry about him dunking me. That guy is minding his own business for now. Uh, guess what? <laughs> Our shield was broken right in time to get back to town anyway, so again, we have done absolutely nothing productive. I still want to think that, like, we should be going to the left side. You know, the, the area we just unlocked, but it... Like, I'm gonna go look over there again, but, like, it seemed like there was nowhere to go over there except the boss, which we don't have a key for. But in that case, where haven't I been? This is, this is ending up very much like the, uh, the failing to ever find the boots in the, uh, or the shoes in the ice section. Because, like, clearly there is some unexplored path that I have not taken, and I am just not realizing it. And I'm still very confused about this part. Because, like... Oh, I had to wait longer to make that work that way. Because, like, you can get over there, but then you can't climb anywhere. So, like, what's... There's gotta be a, a way to, you know, to wrap underneath to get there. So, yeah, maybe I should be trying to go down over here? There's nowhere I can go there. Either down over there or further up over here, but yeah, I guess this does actually go further up there. I guess yeah, this this that's exactly where this leads to. And this jump is some nonsense. Yeah, so that that down there is the chain that you end up at if you take the other path, the other route. And this is just the way to get back up here. I didn't mean to do that. But, yeah, this is just the path that led to the boss door. Alright, let me reconfirm what the rhythm is here. That actually would have worked, if not for this jerk dunking me. And now, oh, okay, yeah, you're gonna come back? Yeah, so there's definitely an aspect to those guys where they, uh, they can phase through platforms when they're in ghost form. Are you- uh, I am way too good at timing that early. This dude's gonna end up respawning on me again. Oh, wait. This is what leads to the boss, right? Like, is 
there anything else I can do from here? They all say can't open this door. They do all have the same message. You know, there's one other thing I should check on. But yeah, there's there's nothing I can do on that side. What about... There's this mysterious shack in the middle of town. You can't even interact with this door. Do you say anything about this? Yeah, so I don't know what the what the deal with that is either. Are there any are there any NPCs I haven't talked to? Are there any hints that I should be taking that I'm not? When you wear those shoes, you can climb any slope. Oh. Interesting. That that is the first thing that I have seen. I I, I didn't remember what they said. The sh I didn't remember that they said what the shoes did. Um. You're right. Someone did say something about a breakable wall. That sounds familiar. Um. This is the first sign of any sort of progression that would make reclimbing the entire, or you know, re traversing the entire labyrinth from the first town any easier whatsoever. Because, like, that's what I was thinking is, like, if if they intentionally completely obliterated the thought of continuing at the latest stage in the DOS version, like, I was thinking, like, maybe eventually the mountain or I keep saying the mountain, um, the labyrinth becomes easier to navigate so that you can get back faster. But so far, there hasn't been any sign of that whatsoever. But that would actually allow you to take a couple of shortcuts. Uh, the door bearing the green symbol cannot be opened. Green stone slabs that can be moved up and down. Arrange them like a staircase so you can go... So, like, I know the th I know the th the... There's one place that has a series of stone slabs, but I don't understand why you would bother making a staircase out of them, because there's n there's nothing that they will reach. Unless there's another instance of them. Uh, there is one fake gold wall that can be destroyed. So here's the thing, though. We've already encountered multiple fake gold walls that can be destroyed. They have items in them, but I don't know if she's talking about something more important than that. And that's the guy who talks about the far right room. We did see that again. Wait, what? Three bear a blue symbol. What was the other one? Uh, for the life of me, I can't remember. Into Soro. Was Tesoro also the place with the four compartments? I think it was. But... I'm just also thinking if there's any significance to the three, because there have been some areas, like, especially in Plata, there have been some areas that go from Plata to Plata, and I don't know if there have been areas that go from Tesoro to Tesoro as well. So, like, three could be, like, a pair of doors and then one that goes elsewhere, or it could be three pairs. It could be referring to either one. Uh, what do you say? A peace statue called Taruso stood here, but one night it disappeared. So I wonder if the statue means anything, too. wonder if that's another special thing we're gonna find. Tesoro means treasure. Okay. <laughs> and then Plata, I'm pretty sure... Is, I don't know if Plata's silver or something, but I feel like Plata is also related to... Uh, precious metals. So do I want to go back this way? Well, okay. We could- if, if there's actually a destructible wall somewhere, it could be on either side of this, so... Uh... Let me start with the side that has less to explore first, and is less likely to get me killed, I guess. 
and we'll st I'm, like, I, I want to think I've been looking for breakable walls basically everywhere, but... Bata is silver? Okay. <laughs> Good job. But now, that's also got my wheels turning in terms of, like, have we seen any slopes that I haven't been able to see the other side of? Like, once I get these shoes, I'm supposed to use it to get, go up a slope somewhere. But I can't think of any that I haven't already been up anyway. Oh, god damn it. I'm pretty sure I tested the wall that was over here anyway. I actually made that work, okay, good. Yeah, there's there's nothing special about that wall. Oh, I think I think your uh, your up attack doesn't actually go through the wall two tiles, but the uh, neutral attack does. Cool, I'll take that. I've tested this wall. I'm not sure if I can recover this. Uh, not like that, I can't. Barely dodged the bird. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't botch that. Those two doors up there... Have I been to the one on the right there? I'm honestly not sure. That might be that one that I was at earlier when the dudes were dancing on the other side. I'm not sure what timing I want on this. Not that timing. And now I'm back down here. I actually usually don't fail that jump, because I don't remember having to, like, do the return trip around here. Oh, man. Uh, that's not where I want to go. I'm glad that always ends up falling when I'm down here. about all these walls that I'm testing is like... Oh, okay, there's a fake wall. Oh, I could have capitalized on that. Like, none of these walls are likely to gain access to anything interesting. Oh, right, this is the one I have to time. Now it's on a really weird part of the rhythm. Hang on, can I can I manipulate this? Oh, what are you doing there, dude? Okay, that's a little better. Oh, I mistimed it. Oh, and I did that wrong. I'm trying to not pick that thing up, because I totally don't need it. Oh, 
Is this the head trauma door? No. So now we're into Soro again. Right, so the boss door is into Soro. Right, because it's right above Dorado. I have no idea how you're supposed to get to the door up there, for that matter. Well, there's no, there's no false walls here. Actually, I guess it occurs to me... I forget, did she say it was breakable, or did she say it was a false wall? Like, maybe we- maybe there's something we actually just, like, walk through. I haven't really been trying that. Oh, well, we can't do that jump. But yeah, so I don't think there's anything special on this side at all. I mean, we've had- that's true, we've had one-way false walls in the previous area. It was about it being able to be destroyed. Well, I'm, I'm probably going to reload now anyway, because I have, I have been through this section, I have scoured it, and I have not found anything. So we can double-check who said that anyway. I think she was over here. Wait for the moving edge of- I forgot about that. Wait for the moving edge of the platform made of shining blocks. The thing is, I th think... I think I know what she's talking about. I would have thought I had already been that way. Alright, hang on. Which which dude... No, it was another woman who said the other thing, right? About the destructible whatnot? Oh, whoops. I meant to slow it down again. No, nope, that's the same one. Never mind. Was it not one of the ladies who said that? Oh, wait, was it you? That can be destroyed. Okay, yep. Alright, but yeah, let me... Let me pursue the Shining Blocks one, because I know what it's talking about. I just need to remember where it is. Uh, it's right up there. Uh, but clearly I need to screen wrap in order to get up there. Which I'm pretty- Oh, jeez, dude. Rude. Yeah, now we're there. Which is gonna come first? One of these guys or the platform? I shouldn't have been standing right there. That was risky. I'm pretty sure I took this once. Oh yeah, that's that's the really long thing. Okay. You know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't gone to the right from there. Because I've been over here multiple times. Alright, can I wait for this platform safely? No! No, I can't. God damn it, everything's terrible. Can I entice you to be up here? There's a bird. Is that is that effing bird gonna come back? I don't know where the platform is. It's got a very long way. Oh, of course it's going the wrong way. Thanks, I hate it. I'm gonna wait it out. I'm sh yeah, there was a treasure chest over here. I remember this. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that other door from here. But I've probably... Yeah, you can't get bonk. I've probably been over there, though. Because, like, I've definitely been up there. Oh my god. There's an entire party up there. Oh, hi. back down. He was actually kind of just, like, consistently doing a dance up there. Alright, well, I'm gonna go here. Uh, 
Elevated? Sure, I'll take that. <laughs> Bird elevator. Going down. Oh no, more bird elevator. Um, you know what, actually? Can I do anything interesting with this wall? Nope. Actually, is that the boss door? That is the boss door. And I shouldn't have gone down here. That was incredibly silly. But, given that I know I can screen wrap, actually, I ought to be able to get to where I wanted to get- No, oh, no, because it's over to the left. Oh, uh, cool. Yes, I, I landed successfully. Uh, going that way seems like a bad idea. I guess the other thing to check on is, like, the whole stairs idea with the, with the three moving platforms, but again, I have no idea why that would be useful. Uh, oh, cool, I did land. Oh, are, are you not gonna get over? You're gonna get over. Yep, yeah, there you go. Have I been over here? Yeah, I've been over here at some point. And this is exactly where I just was, I think? I forget what was all the way over at the other side. I suppose I could check that out. But I'm pretty sure the most exciting step in this area was up the second chain here. Because the third and fourth, you end up hitting a ceiling. Oh yeah, there was this, though. I wonder if this is actually... I've been over here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to jump, dude. Ugh. Yeah, I've been that that's the right side of the of the two uh the well the four doors really. Uh is this this is actually the other side of that, isn't it? Whoa jeez. Okay, no it's not. This is. Oh my god. Got a lot of dudes here. If I want to try to make it back up, I got to take all the platforms across. I don't know where the teleporting lady went to. Somewhere. There it is. Oh my god. Thing is, I don't remember. Like, I know I've visited all these different areas at some point. You know, it's. I'm surprised someone in Tesoro tells you about this platform because I'm pretty sure. Did I not have to, like, go up here in order to get to Tesoro to begin with? Like, did my quest for the key not take me around here? I guess it didn't, technically. I can't actually test that wall from there. This is the other side of that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This, okay, this is what gets you to the other side of that. And I've already been up there, so, like, there's not really any point to being here, I think. Oh, well, didn't really mean to do that, but here we are. There was seemingly no way for me to get... Oh, wait. Hang on. Have I gone through that door, though? That door is also accessed from there. I'm sure at some point I must have gone through that door. If I just fall through here, I will get to this door. Where does this go? We're in Plata now. Have I been here? I'm not sure if I've been here. 
If there were gonna be a destructible wall, I would really expect it to be this one. But it is not this one. That looks interesting over there. Uh, have I been here? I'm not sure if I've been- Bird, what the hell? How did you get up there? I need- I need to- I need to recover. Uh, get up there, please. I don't know whether I am safe here. Can I- wait, can I not get over there? Because you technically fall, you can't get over there. I'm not sure I've been here. why I am ready at all times to hit buttons. The other one shouldn't have respawned, so I don't know where this guy came from. Right, are you gonna come down here? If I turn around, will you come down? No, he's... I'm sure he will eventually. him or something. There we go. Okay. Oh, I picked eight instead of nine. It's actually interesting. Like, nine might be, like, twice the speed of eight. It's interesting to see just by, like, how, how much faster the almost animates. So I can't get up there from here. Look at how much almost there is, and I... It's like I would have preferred avoiding to pick that one up. That one I can't really avoid. So... Okay, what room is this? Might as well try it. This is another one of the four compartments. And there's a thing in here. God damn it, game. Oh, uh, let's check the walls here, though. Absolutely nothing. You get nothing! <sighs> yeah, so this is the third one, presumably? No, actually, this is, this is the left side. So this is the first one. So, at this point, I'm pretty sure the only one I haven't been into is the one that has something important in it. <clears throat> but okay, at least we've found something new for the first time all night. I have been here. Yeah, I reckon I have been here. I'm not interested in that right now. So that was Tesoro. This is Plata. Incoming bird. Actually, it might be... What? Oh, no. Jeez, I didn't realize my, my shield was that busted. Do I even remember how the hell I got in here? Like, if I want to come back here and investigate more, I'm not even sure I know how. But also, I'm not sure if there's anything else I can do from this direction. You know, let me try something. Nope, nothing, nothing there. If I could jump one pixel higher, it would be great. Like, seemingly the only meaningful thing I could do was go in that door, which, uh, got us a whole lot of nothing. Uh, that turned out well, surprisingly. Oh, but there was more stuff we could do up here. 
I swear I got that guy from the back. Okay, how did we... Right, okay, now I remember how we got in here. It was that thing. I just need to remember how to get in there. But also... Oh, shit. Also, what else can... We... Wait, is this... Hang on. No, this is a different section. It's got some of the... The interesting thing is it has some of the same constructs we've seen elsewhere, but it is a different section. Are you, are you really... Can, can I interest you in getting down here? Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, I wish you didn't have to... Whoa, boy. All right, cool. Wish you didn't have to stand there. Uh, like, duck and then... Like, stand up in order to... to to actually destroy the block. Oh, right, okay, that has to be destructible. And are we gonna be able to get up to that? There is also still potentially other stuff to do. So here's the... Th oh, well... Hmm. I was gonna say, here's the thing, if I could survive this... I literally have no health. What the hell, dude? If I go through this, am I gonna get killed? Uh, possibly, because there's a bird. I got very lucky there. I don't know if this is safe or not. Oh, now I gotta break the blocks again, though. Don't I? Okay, that was lucky. Yeah, that one also breaks. Okay. Unfortunately, I have to take that now. Oh my god! Wait, I can get you guys from- well, I can get you from there. Uh, that bird is gonna be problems if I fall. Question is, am I actually okay to heal here? Okay, I should really get rid of this bird. Okay. It didn't drop anything. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. How did you get down there already? Good grief. I need you to get over here. Because otherwise we're going to have a big problem. Um. Oh, you know what we haven't tried is this magic that makes falling rocks. Uh, I pressed Alt and nothing... Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. That's what the Falling Rocks looks like. Well, shit. They're, they're a little bit inconsistent. Uh, let's switch to, like, that or something. I don't know if this would be effective against these enemies. Oh, you jerk. Oh, you jerk. Yep, can't avoid picking up any of those. And there's the other dude again. I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna have to just, like, eat the death or just go back and try to get that shield now, if at all possible, because, like, I'm just gonna waste time. Alright, this, I'm pretty sure, was safe. So let's wait here again. I'm gonna try to get back to town. If we can get the invin- if, if we have enough for the, uh... The, the invincible shield, or whatever you want to call it, the indestructible shield, which I think we might, uh, that should speed things up quite a bit. 
question is, how far am I from getting back? Oh my god. Okay, so now I'm here. Uh, we're right there and the bird almost killed me. That would have been extremely sad. Holy crap. Okay. Uh... So first things first. Well, we need to go to the bank. But we should get over... 1500, right? And that should be enough. I think that's enough. Uh, you know what? Hang on. I'm gonna save first. Like, I don't know, I'm just wary of using this much money. <laughs> also, I haven't checked this all night. I should see if we get another level up. Ah, uh, not yet. Okay, uh, save. Now go to the bank. And I need to withdraw a lot. Uh, like... We needed 14,000 something. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, let's, let's withdraw that much, sure. Yeah, dude, I'll give you whatever I have left in a minute. Maybe I should just use the end, too. Light shield. Oh my, I barely ha I don't have enough to use the end after this. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, yep. Alright, interesting looking shield over there. It's still not... Wasn't this supposed to be indestructible? Why does it still have a number on it? Against ordinary weapons, it's unbreakable. I have to wonder then, how much was the honor? Sh how much would the honor shield have given me? Because I assumed this wasn't even going to have a number if it's supposed to be unbreakable, but it's apparently not unbreakable. That being said, I'm pretty sure when I went from whatever was before the stone shield to the stone shield, I'm pretty sure the shield started taking less damage from things too, so I think that's also uh, a piece of the equation. So there might be more to it, even though there's still a number. The number might be there for, like, bosses and stuff. I don't know. We will find out. All right, I can't use the end. Because <laughs> the end's like 150 or something. Uh, let's put our our 57 gold back. <laughs> My balance has not been that low in a long time. Oof, all right. I think I'm close to the, yeah, the entrance now anyway. Um, I should recover health. Hey! Our shield graphic actually changed. I remember when I... I remember when I first uploaded the shield, the graphic did not change. I'm gonna go in and save once my health is full, just so we don't have to wait for this again. I'll probably save in a separate file, though. Uh... Uh, S for shield. Alright. It still took damage. 
so uh, they horrendously oversold this. Remember, remember how I never bought the stone shield for a while because they made it sound like it was so bad and they'd have something better soon, and then they did until the area after I bought it. Um, well, this one they made it sound like it would be, you know, well worth it. Hi. Guess I wasn't safe, you know, assessing things there. So we'll just reload that file that I just. Uh, no, I can actually just hit enter. Glad I just saved. Effing birds, strike again. Alright, I need to remember... But yeah, so like, I feel like I was ripped off regarding this shield. Alright, now how do I get back to where I just was? Did I have to go that way to get there? Was it... Uh, I think I did. I mean, still, either way, the shield will last longer. So, you know, that's that's still nice. I'm pretty sure I had to go around here and then climb up. Wait, how did I one-shot him? I didn't upgrade my sword. Oh, shit. Yeah. Thanks, asshole. Might as well just do it over again. Literally nothing you can do about that. It's kinda crap. Oh, he doesn't wait to turn around, he just goes immediately. Maybe that was how I one-shot ones, like maybe I had already hit them once? I don't know. Yeah, cause I'm pretty sure there's no other way... Maybe up there? Will this lead me up? Also, ow. No, I have, to, I have to go around. Come on. Oh, I just missed it, damn it. They're probably gonna respawn by the time this thing comes back around. Maybe not. Oh, no, there's one. Question is, is there gonna be one over? Yes, there is! Fortunately, because the platform was, like, moving out, he wasn't able to catch up. I was able to hit him before he caught up to me. I'm pretty sure- oh, shit. You fucker! How did I get up there before? Because <laughs> I've, I've gotten up there multiple times. Alright, bird. Or not. Just missed it. Can I hit you from here? Oh, if I do that, I can hit you from here. That guy really doesn't want to come down here. Okay, somehow one didn't come around. Oh, it's up there. Uh, I have to go around the other way to do that, don't I, actually? Yeah, I forgot. It's actually... <laughs> turns out it's the second chain. Hopefully I can get on this before anything bad happens. It's funny, since I was starting to think the second chain might actually be easier than the first one. Oh, you jerk. Uh... Okay, no, seriously, how do I get up there? Wait, do I go further? I go further up this way. drop down through here. Oh, bird! Alright, and then there's a bunch of crap going on in here. Alright, you stay down there. Oh, 
I wonder if they could be talking about these walls in terms of the destructible... We actually got through without much incident, so that was nice. Alright, I, I want to be as far- oh, jeez. I was gonna say I want to be as far away from the ramp as possible. Okay, now we're over here. We're on the other side of that. This has got to be the wall, dude. Look at it. Oh, come on. That whole thing is shining, and you're telling me there's nothing special about that? Okay. Now, I could probably... Oh, you know what? No, I could probably fall in there again, but I don't think I would have any reason to want to do that. I don't think I have any reason to go down there, either. But then... Ah, oh, jeez. If not that, though, then what am I doing? Like, what did I accomplish by getting here? Maybe I should try going down there. Are you, are you gonna come back down? There you go. I guess we should try this, because I've already been on that part to the right. Like, the only thing I haven't been, o been to over here is to the right side of that, which I can't get to from here anyway. Unless... Actu actually, hang on. Well, I, 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 I still don't think I would be able to do anything. Yeah, you, you can't destroy anything there anyway. Uh, have I been... I, no, I haven't. There's no way I've been through here, right? Okay, now where am I? Is this actually just the other side of that thing? Or have I... Uh, oh, this is the other side of that! Okay. This is, this is interesting. Uh, I don't actually need to be on that thing right now. If I just want to see what's... Well... I, I guess in order to do anything interesting, I need to be on this... There's nothing over here. Shit. Don't knock me off. Okay. So, one of those blocks is destructible, but I don't know what I would gain by destroying it anyway. Yes, yeah, that one. Could you cut that out, dude? I don't know if I can even land here. Oh, I can land here. Interesting, because then... I can walk over here. Or jump over here. Where does this go? Another head trauma door, by the way. Holy shit. Is this the fourth? This is the fourth one, dude. We did it. There... There's your, uh... I guess they're cleats. Uh, we did it. We can walk it. Oh my god, dude, that's actually cool. Because think about it, we went through a door that we had to fall down a ramp that there was no way we could possibly get back. This is actually like classic Metroidvania design, because now we can get back. That's actually sick. Alright. It took us... What? Two hours? Almost to get this far tonight, but we, we did we did what we had to do. We have up upward slope uh you know uphill access now. I don't know what that's good for. Now we have to figure out what, what use that is to us. And these guys are really gonna ruin my day. I should pro it, it is probably in my interest to go back to the town and save. I guess now is a good opportunity to see what the heck is down here. Have I been down here already? Let's crush a bird. Sure, why not? Um, unfortunately, now I can't bring this all the way down. Let me see what's over here first. Have I been here? Oh, is this where I came in? Yeah, it is. Okay. 
Head trauma plus getting sandwiched from both sides. So yeah, that's that's lovely. Thanks, I hate it. Oh, that's not the same one. That was the other one. This is the other side of that. Look at that. Let's see what's over here. I don't think there's anything over here. This is the other door. We just we just backtracked. And <laughs> is this the No, this isn't the you get nothing one, right? That was the Actually, no, this might have been the you get nothing one. I don't remember if I saved after that or not. Let's, let's crush another... Oh, no, he went down there. We can't crush the bird now. Oh. Do I want to go this way? Actually, while we're here, I should probably, like, heal, because why not? Where did this lead? I'm pretty sure I don't want to go in here right now. Uh... Is there actually, like, a special... Okay, you, you still kind of have to, like, climb your way up. No, I think it, it's the sliding animation, but it just, like, kind of sticks there. It's kind of funny. Oh, we're back in here now. I think I recognize this, or is this something else? Uh, now where the hell am I? Ow. I have been here. How did you get down? It's like when I wasn't looking, he somehow phased through that platform. I have been here before. I don't think I want to be in here right now. Oh, come on. Frickin' head trauma door my ass. I am not going to go where the birds are if I can help it, but I might have to. Oh, I can do this, though, because I can stay on here. Which I think you could technically stay on there anyway. Before, you just couldn't climb back up. Okay, do I know where this is? I feel like I should know where this is. Okay, I recognize the part up there. But this is the underside of that. I could take that. How did... That bird just phased through that wall, dude. No, maybe it was a different bird. Okay, now we're in this part. That just leads back to where I just was, doesn't it? I like how it just noped down the uh, down the rope there. Oh, jeez. Now I'm here again. Yeah, your, your movement up slopes is still very arduous. Uh, this is a partial restore. I'll go ahead and take that one. This is the part with the three steps, actually. You know what? What if this is where the destructible wall is? Oh, this, this guy might be a problem. Oh, come on. Okay, how much can I get away with here? I can get away with two. This isn't doing anything. So, like, he said form steps, but I don't understand why. Because there's no way I'm going to get over there anyway. Unless he meant going down here, but I, that's still not going to get you anywhere. So I don't understand what he meant by forming steps. works. That doesn't work. Like, this, w this would serve absolutely no purpose. I, I can't figure a way that building steps here makes any difference. Ah, 
Have I been on the other side of that, though? It does look kind of curious. And I'm pretty sure I've been down there. But yeah, I don't, I don't get what the point of building steps there would be. Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to turn around there. Oh, this, this is the part with the annoying blocks. That's what's down there, is the annoying block section. Uh... Well, I don't know. I forget, I'm pretty sure I eventually got to the right side here, but I don't remember how. I think I did do it from here. Yeah, I did that. Oh, that's right, but this is just, like, you get to it from there anyway, so it doesn't even matter. And right now, I'm really just looking to get back to town anyway. You jerk. Alright, how do I get out of here, though, really? Oh my god. None of this is where I want to be at all. I forget if there's a shortcut to get out from here. Alright, he doesn't want any part of this now. Can I hit you from here? Hey, Mike! Uh, well, it took me a while to make any progress tonight, but we made some progress, and now I just want to get back so I can save my progress. We have a new progression item. I don't know what I need to use it for yet, but we have a new progression item. This is the other thing that didn't make any sense. Was this platform here. Wait. Is this... Which door was this? I forget. Was this one of the middle doors? Yeah, it was. Ow. I should probably stop getting hit for a bit right now. And I should be safe here. So... We're gonna spend some time recovering. I also got a new shield that was, uh... I was told by the shopkeeper that this shield is indestructible. Uh, or, or, I guess... Indestructible for by most materials or something by most weapons, but it's actually not indestructible at all. It's still a decent upgrade, but it's n it probably wasn't worth the amount of money that I paid for. But I did skip an entire shield upgrade to get this, so. And also, I had like completely my shield got completely obliterated, so I was just like, all right, I think I have enough money to get the new the best one, so I'm gonna get it. Okay. Uh, we should be able to get out from here. Where exactly am I, though? There's probably a bird here somewhere, too. Oh, is, this is, uh, this might be the con yeah, this is the consolation prize section. There's your bird. And now I can just climb these ramps like nothing. Well, not really like nothing. Uh, I can cr I can climb these ramps like an incontinent kangaroo. But the thing is, I think I've already been up all these ramps anyway. Wow! He did like a phase walk maneuver. Good job, dude. Alright. Uh, we should be- yeah, here we go. We're close to- we're close to town now. You always forget about the last bird. But let's go save our progress. Speed up. Uh, let's exchange stuff. I suppose at some point I should stop exchanging stuff because it I might find a better exchange rate elsewhere, but like I have no idea when I'm going to finish this section right now. Uh I do need to repair my shield, so we'll do that before we deposit. 
It is still... It has, it has never been uh, more expensive than one gold per two shield points you get back. So I'm surprised that hasn't increased. Oh, you've got an interview? Well, good luck with that. Uh, I am hoping to uh, send an application email out on Monday. The important thing that draws my attention to it is it is something that I strongly believe in, which to me is extremely hard to come by nowadays because everybody's on the frickin' AI grift, and I want nothing to do with supporting that dumpster fire. So, I don't know if anything will become of it, but I've been obsessing over, like, picking away at, uh, tweaking my resume to, uh, hopefully, like, align with what they're looking for a little more directly, like, call things out that it should be calling out. Uh, oh, right, I need to deposit my gold first, actually. And, like, I'd still be making enough that, like, it's enough for expenses plus savings, so... Oh, a deli restaurant. Interesting. Uh, alright, now we're saving. And I guess I'll check to the left again. I'm not sure that there's anything for me to apply this item that I got to here, but we'll check. Oh, the... the... Oh, right! <laughs> I am no longer wearing the shoes that protect from lava. That's an important distinction. I should be able to jump onto this from here. Yeah, but the problem is that I need to jump off immediately. Okay, so the weird thing is, when you go to the left, you seem to go... Uh, when you Rather, when you go downhill, you seem to go, like, two steps in that direction. There we go. Whereas when you go uphill, it's one step. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I have to get used to actually minding lava now. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything useful for me to do over here. What this... Okay. So this is funny, actually. You might be intended to have this to get to the boss, because that ramp up there leads to the other platform that I had gone onto. The thing is, you don't need this item to get onto that platform. You just need to do a tricky jump. So it's basically the frickin' ice area all over again, where I might have skipped the boots. The bigger problem is, I need a key. I guess I'll go up there anyway, and we'll, we'll check if there... There's also ramps over here that I gotta remember. Like, earlier I would always fall off of this, but I can actually, like, jump across this now, so that's something I couldn't do before. Okay, I recognize... Wow, that was a good dodge. Um, I recognize the wall right up above me here. I was wondering what that was when I was seeing it from the other side. I'm gonna wait this out. Now that I have to be careful about this. Uh, and then we're going over here. I think we'll check over here. Oh, I didn't realize it'll you'll stay ducked if you if you crouch and then end up under a low ceiling. It will actually keep you ducked. I never actually tried that. So like now I don't have to worry about that platform at all. I can actually just do this. Hopefully, I'm actually not sure how many units I'm going to end up moving when I do this. Oh god, yep, wasn't ready for it. Oh, jeez, wasn't ready for that either. Well, we're just going right back to the beginning. I don't think there's anything else for me to do up there, that's the thing. Like, this might be a huge waste of time. Uh, is it actually faster for me to switch boots? And then get- oh, I can't stay up there, though. So, yeah, I'm probably better off going around again. 100 a paycheck over how many- how many weeks? 
Or I guess how many hours it might be a better question, because that's really what it comes down to, I guess. But yeah, best th this job that I'm that I'm looking to apply to, best case scenario is I would be taking more than a one third pay cut compared to my previous salary. But you know, we're talking. All right, I don't have to. That's another thing you can do, actually. So you really don't need the boots to make this at all. You don't need the new shoes. There are multiple ways to get over here. And I don't think there's any ramps beyond this, so I don't think there's any reason to be over here again. There's still this ridiculous jump, though. Almost missed that. Still haven't been to where that chest up there is, apparently. Doesn't this lead right down to- yeah, this leads right down to the bus door, so there's- there's absolutely no reason to be over here right now. We- we must search elsewhere. Uh, for places to make use of these shoes. Well, if you're working at a... Well, I guess depending, you know, you were saying you hope you're not waiting tables, but, like, depending on whether it's the deli or the restaurant portion, tips might be part of it there, too. So I haven't been able to figure out how the heck to get up there. Is, is, that, is that bird ever coming back? So there's a blue door there. There's a ramp right up there too. So that that is an that is a point where you explicitly need these boots. I keep I keep interchanging boots and shoes. Oh, the bird fell down here. Did the bird fell down again? I didn't actually mean to fall down here though. Actually, is there anything... There's the there's the ramps here. I don't know that those would give me access to anything new. But I might as well check. It makes this part easier. Because I don't have to bother with the first platform. I can just hop up here. And immediately get generated by a bird. Yeah, that's entirely how I intended for that to work. And then get generate. What? Did you see that over there? Why is there? Why are there one and a half ladies over here? Like, is this a? Sp also, I'm almost dead. Is this a sprite limit thing or what? What the hell is happening here? I'm just gonna reload. Well, okay. So the first thing I'm curious about. Oh, did I just upset the balance of things? Yeah, that doesn't have collision. Well, it doesn't have hitting collision. If I stand here, will I get hit? I sure will. That's hilarious. We have discovered a new enemy, Lady Pants. You can't kill it, but it can kill you. <laughs> okay. I thought I had saved with full health, but that must have been one save ago. Actually, why, why even do that? I'm gonna go back and save again. I still have not solved the mystery of the, uh, the, the locked door there in town. But of course, there is the matter of there being a key I still haven't gotten here. Let me take note... Uh, is that over... That's not over here. That's over... Back where I came into this area. That's at this level. Yeah, that's over there. And 
I guess the question is like, can I... Can I ma maintain this vertical height that I'm at? Oh, well, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. Zacky pointed it out uh, last stream. I'm sure I must have te tested this wall a gazillion times. That's not, that key isn't in one of these four rooms, is it? There's no way. No, because we're it's wrapped to the other side, so it's got to be after the rightmost room. Ow. <laughs> oh, I mean, I could definitely understand that. It was funny, um... So, Mikaw45 played through the PC-88 version of this four years ago, and, uh, because Zaki was, was looking at that for comparison a couple nights ago, and I went and looked at some beginning sections of it after I had been through the ice section. And at one point in, in the forest section, Mikaw is just like, I already don't remember how I got here, and I'm like, dude, yeah, I feel you there. I, I'm glad I'm not the only one who has that problem of, like, I just got here three minutes ago, and I already don't remember what I did. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've been on both sides of this, too. I don't remember... Wait, can I... Oh, it's too late now, because I'm down here. I was gonna say, could I have jumped back on that platform and gone to the other side? I'm pretty sure I've been up there, but... Actually... Might be worth double checking. All right, and now we're in the uh, the elevator section again. Oh no! And now I'm in the consolation section. Oh, you jerk! I got him. That's all that matters. Uh, I have no idea if this is even where I want to be right now. Um... Oh. I totally shouldn't have been able to get that. Oh, jeez. That would have just been the constellation section anyway, so no, I'm not sure... Well, I'm not sure I'm interested in that. I can't get over there. There's not really a good way out of here, is there? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, the funny thing is, if you're just standing straight up, you don't even have to do the, uh, the up attack to hit from behind. The sword hitbox definitely has some interesting properties to it. Um, I would assume because the PC-88 version is even more rude than this version. Although, if you got to the last level on it, you probably already did most of the... most of the work. But I, I mean me, of course, having no idea how ridiculous this gets. And this is, what, the sixth section right now? So I've got at least two sections after this? Okay, yeah, we can just go down from here. This will be fine. Um, now the problem is I forgot what I was doing. There was a place that I suddenly had interest in getting back to. And now I don't remember how to get back to it. Uh, that was an interesting path that that bird took. Oh, this was... right, this was it, but I need to get to the other side. It might be easier to restart. Um... I have effectively restarted. Might as well reload and get my shield back. Oh, I landed on bird. Now the question is, how did I get over there the first time? Did I actually- I think I actually went this way. But I might have, like, fallen down at some point here. Oh, that's not what I should- yep, that's the problem. The funny thing is, if you're standing on solid ground, uh, a platform won't push you, but if you are standing on another platform, it absolutely will. 
so I don't think I'm interested in this. This is just, this is just going back to where we were. Oh, this is it. Okay. Now, what did I want to do here? What I wanted to do is we got to ride the platform over halfway, let it just shove us off, and then we got to get back on the platform uh, on its way to the left again. Yeah, see, now it just goes through you harmlessly. That's where the key is! Oh my god, I never tried this. Uh, so we could technically go to the boss right now. Okay, let's, let's switch shoes. I've probably been on the other side of this already. But where exactly is this? Uh, this is the elevator shaft section again, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, we can get back from here. Might as well. So, like, there's a- you can already see two locked doors here. Uh, the one right above this is the boss door. I know how to get to that one. I don't know how to get to the other one. Uh, but at this point, I guess I should just go for the boss. Um, I did not get anything. What does this place sell again? So, I, th I know I have a Jewin fruit. I'm glad she doesn't get pissed off at us like the weapon guy does. Uh, thank you for the follow. Do I still have... Oh, right, I can't go down there. No, I don't have... I have the thing that repa repairs your shield. I have a Jewin fruit. I don't have any attack or defense items. Maybe it's time to try the defense item. Because I haven't tried it all game. Because I haven't tried it specifically because its definition is ambiguous. Okay, here's the problem. I don't have enough money for it, do I? I'm pretty sure my balance is only, like, in the hundreds now because I bought the best shield, because the store guy- the weapons dealer made it sound like the best shield wouldn't take damage, but it still does, so he totally ripped me off. Oh no, I do have- I th I think the defense thing costs 2,000. <laughs> I think I still can't afford it. Well, at least he doesn't get mad at me because I at least checked my balance. If you don't do anything, I get I think he gets a little irritated. Alright, uh... I don't know if I've done anything meaningful since last time, but let's see. Oh, blinking time warning. Alright, there it is. Uh, so, well, at least I got more health for the boss fight that's coming up. Yeah, we could grind Almas, or I could just try the boss anyway, because I do at least have the one health restore, and I know I can buy more health restores here at least. I could also just, like, yeah, I could just chug health restores. I could buy more of those. I actually had two in my inventory for the previous boss, but I decided that, like, I ended up redoing that and then only needing one of them to, to beat it. Uh, alright. Yes, we will continue. I will get us back to the boss room, then I will probably take a break before we try the boss. It's already pretty late, actually. It has taken me all night just to figure this crap out. Uh, I want to go this way. Uh, which shoes do I have on right now? I have the other shoes on right now. That should be fine. Because if I mess this up, I'm pretty much sunk, even if I have the other shoes on. Oh, I messed that up. Well, And then I messed everything else up. So I, ha I have done the carefully timed jump up there, but then I realized that you can actually, like, land on that, that one unit of tile there. And that seems maybe more doable, but I don't know. It still kind of seems tough. And, like, yes, you could climb up that ramp with the other shoes, but because the, other, the left side of that is so short, it's, like, practically harder to do it by climbing up the ramp. There we go. I feel like that worked even before I crouched. Like, I feel like it crouched by itself. 
I was... I didn't realize you can hit her weak spot even when you're ducked if you're f facing the other way. That's pretty good. Alright, now we gotta do the tricky timing here. That one was also trickier because I, uh, I think it's the 500 gold chest up there that I keep not getting, or getting and not saving. The, the timing was trickier that time because it was on, like, a half beat or something. I've been timing it to the music. Alright, so here's the boss door. Um, I'll go over here so it's not as loud. Um, also, let me just... We should be safe, but I'll heal here while I'm paying attention, and then I will actually, like, go to the inventory screen to pause. Alright, we're gonna pause here. Oh, more tough platforming? Yeah, I mean, the first, the first introduction to the tough platforming really was the ice section. Also, you might notice I didn't get the shoes in the first ice section, which presumably made the hardest room in that section even worse. And I had to do that multiple times. And then you end up in the... Like, right after that, you end up in... Like, the worst economy of the game. In the town after that. And I'm like, screw it, I'm not going back. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I never figured out... Like, I saw the other shoes. Like, they're on this pedestal. I've been to... I had been to the left side and... Like, the left side and the right side. Never actually found out how to get on top of them. Yeah, I, uh, I felt like it was a callback to, um, a long time ago when I was in the speedrun Discord for East Dios and Felgana, and one of the things you would do there is skip the, uh, ice shoes in that game. Which, arguably, as long as you can control yourself enough, it arguably makes it faster <laughs> by not having it. Um, but, but yeah, it's, it's barely possible, even without... At some point, I'll have to I'll have to look at, you know, what gameplay with the shoes looks like. I think Macaw did get the shoes. I don't know if it's even more impossible in the PC-88 version without them, for that matter, but it's at least possible here. Um, but yeah, I'll be curious how much easier it is with them. Because, <laughs> yeah, your jumps definitely get a little bit weird. I mean, your jumps are already weird even just on moving platforms to begin with, but I think the ice also makes them weird. Anyway, I need to take a break. We'll see what the heck boss we run into when we get back from this, and maybe give it a couple of attempts, because I'm assuming I'm not going to beat it on the first attempt. I think... I think I've only beaten the first boss on the first attempt. And that was... No, actually, did I even... I think I might have died to that once, too. I don't think I've done any first try bosses. Because you had the crab, you had... Octopus, the chicken. The chicken kicked my ass multiple times. Um, I'm forgetting what the fourth one was. Oh, the fourth one was the frickin' Ice Cube. Yeah, that, that killed me multiple times. And then the fifth one was uh, the frickin' head, mouth thing. Uh, so yeah, all the I'm pretty sure all the bosses have killed me at least once. So this is probably not going to be a successful attempt, but we'll see what happens when I get back in a couple minutes. Alright, we're back. Thanks for continuing to hang out. Also, I'm realizing I, uh, missed the last couple of messages on my way out. PC Idiot feels a tad slower to fit play, so it's probably closer to a 4 or 4.5. Interesting. You me you mentioned the control factor, but here's the thing. I Once or twice I tried a slower speed, and it feels like it doesn't buffer inputs, at least on this version. Like, it, it feels like if you're not pressing the button, if you're not holding a button down at the precise point that the tick happens, it just doesn't, like, your input doesn't count. Which honestly makes feel, makes it feel like playing slower is actually also harder. Because <laughs> you actually have to start, like, timing your inputs precisely. <laughs> I don't know if the PC-88 is the same way. Also, I realized while I was away, I'm forgetting about another infamous locked door that we could have used this key on. The, 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 there's the green door that the dude in town was like, you're not gonna open that. I'm like, I have a key now, dude. Like, what? So I should probably try that, but I'm probably gonna die on the boss anyway, so let's try the boss first. Uh, I need to start the timer back up. Let me do that. Alright. 
Time to die, probably. What the? It is... <laughs> So here's the thing, the previous boss I fought was just a head, so I feel like the game just did the whole, like, draw the head, then draw the entire rest of the owl. That That's literally what's happening in this video game right now. We're fighting the entire rest of the owl. I cannot believe that a 1990s game has a modern day shitpost built into it. Pretty good. Um... I'm, I'm thinking I want to try to, like, okay, we got to find out what part of this is even vulnerable, I guess. What? Uh. Is this actually the, oh my god, this is the rock monster. Ow? Rude. This is actually the rock monster. Oh my god, what if I actually beat this thing? Is he, is he get is he becoming shorter is my question here though oh oh uh oh the the it's like shifting phase all right that's fine I like how it sounds like a printer or something like this is gonna take forever but I can actually methodically kill this guy. I'm gonna have to, if, if we get past this, I'm gonna have to save to a separate slot so that we can try that other door. Uh oh. Okay, he didn't, he didn't fire one that time. I was worried he was gonna fire it like point blank. Oh, oh jeez. Maybe, we, maybe we will end up heal, healing. I like to think that every time I'm, I'm always hitting him in the foot, so like I, I like to think that every time he, I'm doing this, he's actually doing the uh, the thing from uh, Turtles in Time. My toe, my toe. The interesting thing is like the stuff he's shooting at me looks like Almas. Kind of, a little bit. Actually, the easiest boss in the game so far. Uh, also, can I recover health right now? I think it pauses. Reco nope, nope, it is. It's recovering. It probably did pay off having the better shield. I don't know if this shield like takes less damage from stuff than my previous one did. Based on the description, it should. Because uh, he did shoot through quite a bit of shield there. Oh, I, I should have left the speed up to see if it speeds this up. I keep forgetting to experiment with that. When I end up watching the speed run of this, I'll probably find out. Six out of eight. Was the it will regarding, like, speeding up? Okay, and this is that other door. I'm gonna go back first, though. Okay, so if I want to go back... Because I would definitely like to save after all of that. 
and I'm not, like, I have taken chances in previous instances, and it has not turned out well. So, we're going back. Oh yeah, coming out of a door, yeah, that's true, and it goes through the door by itself, right? Typically, if you're coming out of a boss room, and it has a, and it gave you a key, though, you're, like, very close to where the key is gonna be used. But yeah, I suppose you're not always 100% safe. I'm thinking the forest after the boss, there might have been one of those up periscopes, you know, worm things that shoot the things at you. Uh, also, holy crap, how much almost did that boss give me? I thought they always give you a fixed- so first of all, in PC-88, they don't give you almost. I'm pretty sure. Um, I was thinking it was a fixed amount, but it might actually be, like, later bosses give you more. Alright, I might as well go trade in the- actually, no, you know what, let's hold on to it. We're about to go to a new area, we might get a better exchange rate. Alright, so we are going to- well, we'll, we'll see if we- oh, that's not what I meant to do was the wrong thing. I doubt we're gonna get a level up just from that, but let's see. Oh, all right, blinking time. Blinking's over. Wow. I don't think I really did anything besides fight the boss, and it actually gave me another level? I feel like the last time I tried that, it didn't work. <laughs> all right, I need to do another... Uh... Another save. What do we what do we want to call this? I guess we'll call it seven because we're going on to the seventh area. So we still haven't uh alright, so what I want to do now is actually load this one again and go this way. Whoops. Because right down here, there is a door. Interesting. Okay. So, this is the first door I have ever seen in the game that doesn't just open with a key. So, I guess the dude in town was right. You ain't opening this door. At least not right now. So, in that case, let's go right back here. The good news is, that means we can move on. A lot more grinding on people. Yeah, I know because of the the exchange rates are worse. Um, the 100 almost drops in this are actually 50 in PC88. There there are several ways in which PC88 has a harder time, just in terms of like currency. And then level ups do less for you too. Level ups don't even refill your health on PC88. Pretty rude. Right, and no speed change, yeah. Uh... Do I want to do this? I have to be over here first. This jump is probably the most troublesome part. Yeah, no, regen isn't the thing either. I want to at least be on, like, where it's coming back as I go over here. That one might have worked, technically. Oh, come on. I managed to perfectly time that to where it didn't work. At least I caught that cycle again. A hair early? Really? Oh, jeez. I did that too soon. And this is kind of why it pains me to have gone back, but, like, better safe than sorry, so we don't have to fight the boss again. Especially given that I didn't even have to use items. Oh, but, okay, so the one interesting thing about PC-88 that actually makes it arguably more lenient... The DOS version, if you die or you use a Kyoku Feather in the DOS version, it sends you all the, way back, all the way back to the first town. Whereas on PC-88, it actually properly sends you back to the latest Sage, like it says it will. Uh, 
Oh, so you... Okay. I had thought based on last time that it actually would crouch for me, but no. Once, once you get out of... There is an initial crouching animation when you land from a jump. Or a fall. But once you're out of that, uh, you better be holding down. So that answers that question. I don't like these timings. Yeah, the thing about making it quote-unquote easier, though, is like, when you die, you still lose all your gold and all your almost, whereas in this version, you only lose half of your almost, but, like, you would never want to not load in this version, pretty much. Oh my god, these cycles are killing me. Oh my god, I almost screwed it up again, but we got it. Now we gotta do the thing here. It seems like pretty much if you do that at top speed, it, it just works out to the right timing. Alright, let's actually go through here. It's, it's effectively, like, from one to the next, it's six beats. Uh, do I have the right shoes on? Nope. Uh, so presumably this is, like, just to the top right of where the town is. Yep, there it is. This is the door that we have seen since the beginning of the section, pretty much. Uh, I don't know which shoes I want now, so I guess I'll keep those on until proven otherwise. I like how I'm not dead. Even though I'm not wearing the shoes that would ostensibly defend against, you know, being on fire. What does this music remind me of? It's too hot. Oh, am I am I gonna lose health? Cue, cue the Craig the late late show with Craig Ferguson. Hey Jeff, how hot is it? It is so hot. Uh yeah, I'm glad I saved. Oh, llama? Llama. Oh, we got we got we got the hype music again. Nice. All right. Well, there was a town immediately, so that works out. My name is Michael. No one here listens to a word I say. I wonder why that is. Sir, I can see that you don't have the elf crest. Recently, some henchmen of Jashin have been posing as heroes and wreaking havoc on this town. You're not one of them by any chance, are you? Without the elf crest, no one here will speak to you. Oh, well... It... Did they not even tell this to Michael? Because that kind of explained that really quick. Uh, does that mean I can't use the shops, though? No, he seems to be completely okay with me as long as I give him money. What do we have here? The same things we had in the... Oh! The, the, yeah, the prices are going down. Watch. The, the shield is going to be like half the price of what I paid for it. Uh, no, it's still more than that, but there's also a better shield again. So yeah, I got horrendously lied to about this light shield. It is it is not, in fact, the bee's knees, but I did skip the honor shield completely, so it's not all bad. Let's see what you have to say about the titanium shield. This shield makes the mightiest sword seem like paper. It's light as a feather and hard as a diamond. Used well, this one will last you a lifetime. Okay, but you said that basically about the last one? And you were lying. Because, like, look at the description for the light shield. Not made of common iron, it is made of a magic metal called Magane. Against ordinary weapons, it's unbreakable. Apparently, birds and floating dudes and Cleopatra or whatever the hell that lady is, is uh, those, those are not ordinary weapons because they can still break it. Absolute utter lies. But then, for that matter, they lied about the... Like I was saying before, they lied about the stone shield, too, because the stone shield, they were like, ah, oh, this shield isn't that good. It was very good. I needed that upgrade badly uh, when I got to... Was that one the... I think that was in the fifth section that I finally bought that one. It might have been earlier than that. It was probably that, though. Um, 
It was either that or the forest, but I can't think it was that early. Uh, I don't have money. I'm glad he's not mad at me. I need to get money first. You have lived through much, but your journey is not over. You must be hot. I shall teach you the magic spell of water, Agua. Is is that actually our is that actually our key to exploring here? Let's see what you say. That world is controlled by dragons. To get there, you have to open three closed doors. All right, so I guess that means we're looking for three keys. I'm still wondering about the stuff we haven't opened in the previous area. Like, there's that green door. Like, there's the green door. There's the what if what if this is referring to the green door in the previous area and that closed up like building that and everyone's like, well, wow, where did this come from? This wasn't here yesterday. Um, C power would be pointless because I literally just did that. Uh, I don't think I've killed literally anything since then. So. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna save to that again. Um, I'm at least gonna look around the town. We gotta see what the exchange rate is. And let's see what the magic shop has. We've got saber oil again. We're in business. And we've got the Kyoku Feather, which you should never buy. <laughs> Why would you want to be warped to the beginning of the game? You might as well just die and do it. Um, and, you know, go full punishment. But we've got... Let's see what, let's see what the prices are. The prices are worse. This is a section where I might as well go back to the previous town. Because it's not that long of a trip, and it's not that hard. Uh, of course, that's only for the, the Juin fruit, or the, uh... What was the other thing the previous town had? Like, we couldn't get Saber Oil in the previous town. So I may very well end up buying that here. Because that can definitely make quicker work of bosses. I feel like I'm playing Crystalis now or something with, you know, nobody talking. Wasn't, wasn't there a town where... I forget if it was just that everyone was petrified. That was definitely a thing in one, in one place. But I feel like there was a place where they just didn't talk to you. Alright, what's your exchange rate? <laughs> You're trying to catch me there. I shouldn't have saved here. I should have, I should have checked the exchange rate first because I'm better off going to the previous town. <laughs> This guy's like, yeah, our our exchange rate here is just as garbage as Tumba was, but we're not going to tell you. We're going to try to lie about it. <laughs> um, yeah, so Zaki, does this one, do you know if this one says two for two in PC-88 versus saying one for one? Like, does it still do the doubling just to troll people? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, you can't be that busy with an exchange rate that's that garbage, dude. How much does the inn cost? Probably 200 or 300? 200? No. It's pretty trivial to get to the previous town. What is this place? Help, a terrible creature is in our hut. Please get rid of it for us. You're trying to trick me, right? Caverns in this region are burning hot. You won't be able to stand it long. I've got something that will help you. It's an asbestos cape that will protect you from the heat. It's not free, though. It'll cost you 2,500 almas. Interesting. Well, I, I can't take it right now. Maybe next time. Indeed. So, if that's the case, then I guess the water spell doesn't protect us from that. Um... Four to one- wait, four to one in which direction? Alright, let's see what's in here. It's literally a boss. It's another ice cube. Oh shit, that that was not good. 
I should try using magic on this guy. Uh, I guess I could use water. Oh, holy shit, that did a good job. He's fucking dead. <laughs> Alright, water's pretty good, as it turns out. <laughs> okay, hang on, let's check the walls. Uh, interesting boss fight. Time to go ask the sage if we gained a level. Oh, thank you, sir. As a token of my gratitude, I will give you the elf crest. Oh, that was quick. I think you'll find it useful. Without it, no one in town will help you. Okay, does that show up? That shows up at the bottom with the other crest. All right, okay. Uh, so now we can talk to dudes. He still wants... Oh, we can afford this now, as it turns out. I'm not gonna take it yet. I was hoping he was gonna... I was hoping it was gonna be like he would give that to us for free. Because we saved everybody. I am Yozeris. When you go into Correr Cave, isn't Correr literally to run? It's like, hey, it's hot in here, you better fucking run. Watch out for an opening with no ivy. You'll fall if you go through- Oh boy, we've got more false floors or something. There are countless one-way invisible walls- Okay, we've got that again. Like we had in the fifth area. Uh, to find out more about them, ask Yozeris or Musa the Elder. Well, we just talked to Yozeris, that was this guy, right? If you can't find your way, find an air current near the ceiling of the cave. You can transport yourself on those currents. That seems new. Beware of the great heat currents. There are many whirlpools in the caverns, and once you get caught in, you'll caught in one, you'll never get out. Great. Uh, Joshin filled the caverns with a flaming inferno. Please help us, brave lad. Alright, you're the one who talks about the invisible, or the one-way currents. I am Muse of the Town Elder. If you go into the Claire Cave, be sure to remember the color of the entrance door. The exit door is the same color. Hmm. Oh, you've got the Elf Crest. Great. Okay, so he does actually know the deal. Uh, alright, let's save. I, I guess we're paying for the cape either way. Um... But, wow, yeah, so, if, I don't know if they make an exception for that boss, but if they don't, if bosses don't give Almas in the PC-88 version, then you seriously just have to grind forever to get that cape, which would be garbage. Oh, Hotfoot? Really? Oh, that's funny. Alright, let's see if we've leveled up. Yeah, okay. Uh, the, the, re the revenge against the ice cube wasn't, uh, wasn't enough. Um, okay. I guess I will go by the cave. I'm not gonna head in there tonight because it is already pretty late. And this is a good cutoff point. Oh, did I talk to this guy who's busting it? Oh, that was Yo Yozeros is the one who's going real fast. Okay. Thanks again, really. You can't go in the house anymore. It's just permanently closed. All right, we're taking it. Take good care of it. And that is another uh, wearable, naturally. All right. I should probably at least like heal. Uh, I suppose I haven't actually stayed out here for long enough to really know whether there's anything that could kill me out here. The bass sound in this section absolutely sounds like something out of Blake Stone. But this rhythm is more like... It. Why, why is it... Why is it the, that lava or heated areas always get the shovel beat? Because, like... Um, East 3 does the same thing. But yeah, what we will leave exploring this for later. Uh, gonna be an an interesting, interestingly eyeball-searing color palette for this section, I guess. And we, the interesting thing also is, we haven't seen a single enemy in this section yet. The music in this section is pretty good too, though. Um. But yeah, that is going to do it for me tonight. I will go back and save now that we've, uh... 
healed up. Actually, yeah, I guess I should have kept that on. Um, should I just trade in? I I should restore my shield first. Yeah, let, let's finish doing town things. Hang on. Oh right, but we don't want to exchange that here. All right, no, you know what? <laughs> we're not we're not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just gonna save. We'll worry about that next time. We'll try to rough it with 200 shield initially next time, probably. Uh, okay. Save it to that. I actually don't need this many save files at this point. I, I could get rid of the, the two older ones. Or probably all three of them, actually. Uh, I will say yes just so we have music to, to get out of here with. But I'm gonna call it there, so let me stop the timer. So we've made decent progress, after all. Um, half of the night involved making no progress whatsoever. <laughs> but eventually we got there. So, we've got presumably two sections and a final boss left, because there's technically three tiers left. Um, but I'm guessing the third- I'm guessing the one in the center is, like, specifically final boss territory. So we'll, we'll see what the Inferno has in store for me next time.